Hey, uh, sorry we're late. Sorry there's no fan art. Um, we had a thing today and it ran way later than we thought. So, and a bunch of stuff happened before that. So apologies. We were late. yeah we're late. I was supposed to be um live twenty minutes ago, but yeah. I was in the middle of doing fan art and then someone came up and then um something that we had going on uh about an hour and a half before the stream ended up running longer than we expected, so sorry. I'm feeling a little stressed right now, so uh I'm gonna drink some coffee, we'll let everyone pile in and then uh and then we'll go in. Um like nothing bad, just you know. Sometimes it's tough having so many kids asking for your attention. <laughs> oh man. Alright, uh Does chat count as a kid? Why do you think uh, I'm so good at interacting with chat? You guys are a breeze compared to that. Easy breezy. Alright. Um, let's go link out. B L R stream two V L R stream two Okay, links right. Alright, so um one of the uh the fun parts of streaming and I think I think I end up making a lot of predictions when we play games that um like I think some people think that I'm right a lot and they just forget like how often I'm wrong because the times that I'm right stick out more. Um, but one of the things about streaming that makes it um, uh, interesting is that um, I get to see things more than I would and I get time to think about things between streams, you know? Um, so now that I'm, I'm looking at the title of the game and I'm like VLR and I keep getting mixed up and VLR immediately th make me, makes me think of some like VR, some sort of virtual reality kind of thing. But there's another game that was like this. So maybe that's why my mind is also going there too. Um, and also after, now that we've like been sitting on the, um, seeing the title a lot, I'm looking at Virtue's Last Reward and I'm like, is this an anagram? Like um, two milkmen go comedy? Like this is a weird title. Like Virtue also sounds like Virtue right um but i'm really really bad at anagrams so like i can't i don't know i don't know if there's a process to anagrams that you can learn how to do but when i look at a like um an anagram I, I I see like a billion different ways I can arrange all the letters, like so many permutations, and I just don't know how to get my teeth in. Once once you can get the first couple letters, I think it all falls into place really quickly. But oh, we can't we can't watch this, right? So I'm I don't know how you um how how you're supposed to set that up. Like these kind of logic puzzles can be surprisingly uh, deterministic when you learn that sort of thing. Um, I was pretty bad at Sudoku for a long time, and I used to just remember where everything went and now it's like you can have like a whole process especially with harder sudokus you need to pencil in and there's different strategies for penciling things in and there's even sudoku puzzles that are built around you penciling it in because you have to um uh do x-wings and stuff uh and the process elimination gets surprisingly complicated there's lots of tricks when it comes to that sort of thing but um i i want to i was curious how um uh I'm curious how anagrams work. How do you remember Sudoku? Well, it was very, very easy Sudokus I was doing. Like, I wouldn't pencil in. I would just remember where all the numbers went. I was, I would be like, okay, well, that can't be there. That can't be there. That can't be there. Therefore, that can be that. That can be that. That can be that. Um, so, but there, I want to stress, like, I'm not some Sudoku savant or anything like that. It, they were, like, incredibly easy Sudokus when I was first doing them. Like, we're talking, like, 10, 20 years ago or whatever. Um... Good coffee, damn. Isn't that, isn't that, isn't that, isn't that, isn't that? 
Isn't that obvious? How's the game so far? Okay, so the game is is interesting. Like I'm I'm in. Like I want to know more what happened, but I think th or what's happening, but I think maybe there. Uh, okay, so I'm of two minds of this, as I usually am on everything, because that's just the human condition, is being of two minds of things. Um, so on the one hand, I'm looking at the intro to the story, and I'm thinking that it's nowhere near as strong as 999. But then I'm also looking at it, and I'm like, maybe that's okay because it's a sequel. And I'm, and I'm always annoyed, um, and I don't know if I should be annoyed about this sort of thing. I'm always annoyed, especially in games, when... Um, the sequel comes out and it's like they reset the difficulty and the complexity all the way back to what it was in the beginning of the first game And it doesn't get back to where the first game ended until the last hour of the second game And I'm like, well, what the fuck man? Like come on like pe people we just let us play the first game And then in the second one like l let's like obviously don't start where the first one ended but you know, maybe start about halfway there and Let's go, you know, like it's it's kind of annoying and irritating that um, games will do that when that's what the sequel's all about, right? But I understand that sequels are also supposed to be bringing in new people. So that's, this is where I'm of two minds of it because like if this is, is meant to be a sequel and it's like, uh, sorry, if this was built around being a sequel and, and they were like, okay, look, we know we have them already. People really like the first game. If they played the first game, they're already hooked and invested. We don't have to do some some like big wow moment in the beginning and we can have more of a, a slow burn, slow opening and you and they can sink into it slowly. And I like slow burn sinking stories. It's fine. But um, in terms of like grabbing me, I'm, I'm less enthused right now. And I think one of the biggest reasons for that is because there's no Akane. There's no Junei. Um, so in the first game, I would say that it would almost be exactly like this, um, except that it gives you Junei and it gives you some camaraderie. It, it gives you this like this person to latch onto, and you're like, okay, you are who I'm going with, and like I'm going through this with you, and you're invested in the character and this relationship that they have, even though it's not a very compelling or good relationship, it's still something that you can grab onto and be like, look, th there's something in this that isn't just the game. I want, I want to, I, I want to continue with this. Um, not just that though, but immediately in the first round of, of puzzle of escape rooms, you are talking to the other characters. You're having a moment with them. They're telling you things. It might be fucking ridiculous what they're saying but you are getting that sense of building like a team like camaraderie again whereas in this one that didn't happen like we went in with luna and we went in with um with with uh fido and we barely spoke so right now it's more about like it feels more every man for themselves at the moment, and there's not a lot of interplay going on with the different with the different characters. It feels like there's more interplay going on with everyone else, and not us. But it also could just be that there's no voice actor, and I I don't even feel like I'm a person. I feel like I'm just just a floating like entity. You know what I mean? Obviously, I am interacting with everyone, so it's not that you know. But like, um. I don't know. It just—it's just, it's so—it's so strange. Like how it was? Is this still on? Yeah. Okay. Good. It's like imagine if you were playing um, uh, Mario sixty four, and you were um, uh, shit. What? What the fuck is it? Mario 64 was really interesting because it because it made the camera like canon. Um, the the fucking the fucking Lakitu. Yeah, imagine you were the Lakitu in Super Mario 64, and but you could talk to Mario, and and Mario would would respond to you, and Mario's the only one that could talk. You know what I mean? And it's like that that's how it feels. It's, it doesn't feel like even though we're making choices and everything, it doesn't feel very very um. Um, active in the way that Jumpy was more of a presence in the story, I guess. Even though he's really there, like there, like I'm, I said a few times last stream, there are a couple times where I'm like legitimately unsure if um, Sigma is even talking or thinking, you know. And I guess he's always thinking in novel mode, and he's and he's um, talking in speech bubbles. Whenever it's on the bottom screen, he's talking. But like, there's this moment where I'm like, wait, hold on, are we even saying this out loud? You know, like it's so strange. 
is relating to the protagonist necessary? No, absolutely not. No, no, no. I'm not that kind of that kind of person that thinks that. Um, I don't think I don't think characters need to be relatable ever in any position. Really, um, it's not a requirement. It can help for sure, and sometimes it, it's a very good thing. But um, no, characters don't need to be relatable. It's most of the time, like 99% of the time, characters don't need to be relatable. They need to be understandable or sympathetic. Um, sympathetic doesn't mean you agree. Sympathetic just means you understand the place that they're coming from. Even a villain, especially a villain, you you want them to be sympathetic i understand why this person is doing this so now there are exceptions sometimes an agent of chaos can be very very entertaining um but yeah I, I don't know um it's not a bad thing i'm not i'm not not enjoying the game it's just that 999 grabbed me much better and gave me a lot more things to be invested in very quickly um and a lot more things to be excited about and look forward to whereas so far this has been bogged down in a lot of convoluted rules an absolutely awful bunny mascot um, no character that I can really grab onto, even Alice, and just be like, okay, this is the character I want to see a lot. Um, Luna is, I'm only interested in Luna because she's, she's voiced by, uh, Laura Bailey, um, and she sounds like Risa again, uh, and even that, that's kind of like a meta enjoyment. Um, so, like, the game hasn't given me a lot of stuff to continue yet, except for I love the concept because I just really like this kind of setting, and also it's a sequel to a game I previously enjoyed. So, that's it. That's, um... That, that's where I think I'm coming from, yeah. Anyway, um, let's keep going. It's We've been live for about 10 minutes. I've talked about the game, summarized it. Uh, again, once again, apologies for um, not having fan art prepared today. I really wanted to do it. I was in the middle of doing it. I was just adding the um, the names down to the bottom, and I probably could have finished it in about five minutes, except um, rendering time would have made it a little longer. Uh, it, there wouldn't have been transitions, though. Um, and then, yeah, sorry for being late as well. Silent main characters and voice VNs are an old VN trope for self-insertion, just for anyone wondering. Well, two things to respond to that, and then we'll get into it, is that number one, 999 was not like that. Um, and second of all, this does not feel like a self-insertion at all. Like, um, I, sorry, that's why I want to say something, something I like about last time is that, like, uh, okay, I, I'm going to... I, I'm really tough on the weebs, and I like making certain jokes, and I make them too much. Sometimes I say, you know, weebs don't shower, weebs, weebs don't have sex, weebs are virgins, all that shit. That's not very nice of me to say, and not cool at all if to say it seriously, and I just want to make it clear, I'm not being serious, I'm just playing into a stereotype for fun, and sometimes it can get a little, a little kind of, kind of shit. Um, some of you do need to shower more seriously, Sonic fans, but, you know, um, However, so I, I just want to make that clear before I say this because I think it's unusual and it, and it bears um, pointing out that the fact that our character in this game, in a, in, in a uh, anime style VN, is um, quite handsome, um, chiseled jawline, you know, um, fucking built, looks like he works out, has a girlfriend, or had a girlfriend, wasn't a virgin, is actually surprisingly fucking rare for, for these kind of games. I, I can't even think of another JRPG or, or, or a story-heavy Japanese game that we've played that the main character wasn't a virgin, you know? Like, like, like actual sexual experience and actually has some kind of, you know, like, um, uh, social dynamic with women, you know, that isn't just like, hee hee, your thighs, even though that did kind of happen. Um, but, you know, like, it, it's interesting, and, and so I do like that, so I don't really think, well, you know, it's a self-insert for me. But for most people who play, you know, not really. Uh, <laughs> All right, <let's> get <laughs> <sighs> All right, uh, four hours. Oh, we ended four hours exactly last time. Nice. Nice try. Yeah, I, w I wish I had a jawline that strong. I have such a weak jawline. I spent a few minutes wallowing in misery. I figured I deserved at least a little self-pity. But even I knew that brooding and whining wasn't going to get me anywhere. Like Kay had said, we needed to at least try and find another way out. So I took my head to... So I shook my head to clear it, stood up straight, and headed off. Lounge, infirmary, crew quarters. Alright, can we do this in... Um... All of them? The casino!
When are you going to open the flowchart? What flowchart? Oh, Sigma. Make Lotus look reasonable challenge. They succeeded. Mummy, sorry. Mummy. Perfect timing. Hey. You were here earlier, right? <laughs> yeah, I was. <laughs> Phi, Luna, and I were the first into this room. Someone said audio is is borked. Is it? Is the audio fine? Oh, also, I forgot to say thank you to some gifted subs that came in yesterday from Iron Wrath. Thank you very much, Iron Wrath, for the gifted subs. Uh, it was right at the beginning of stream, and I didn't, um, I didn't see it before I looked at chat. I wasn't looking at chat that. Thank you, thank you very much, Scumbag Joe. Trying to say thank you to all the people who give out gifted subs. Chat, if your audio is broken, pause and unpause. Okay, so it's on your guys's end. Okay. Use guises. Please stop with the mommy joke. I'm gonna cringe death. Oh, sorry, mommy. Did you find anything suspicious? Like a uh, secret pathway or something. You really think that's the kind of detail I would have neglected to mention? Whoa. Anything else then? Anything out of the ordinary? What? What is? What is this? It's gonna be interrogated by my parents out, out out of the ordinary. Hmm. Well, I mean, everything about this room is out of the ordinary. How about this? Isn't that obvious? Ooh. Okay. It's an astronomy magazine. Apparently, it's got an article about a lunar eclipse. It says it's going to happen on December thirty first, twenty twenty eight. This New Year's Eve, then. Okay, are you going to tell us a story about eclipses? Yeah. Six days from now. Wait, what did you say? What do you mean, six days? Uh, well, today's Christmas, right? Merry Christmas. So. Wait a minute. <laughs> what the hell is Christmas? What are you talking about? Oh, man, I've jumped to another reality where there's no Christmas. Nah, uh, here, cri Christmas, what, do you mean dave Miss? We call it dave Miss here. When were you grad? What? Didn't you hear me? On Christmas. About two or three in the morning. Wait, did they pick you up on a different day? Yeah. Okay, how... I was abducted in the middle of the night on December 22nd. Oh. What about you? I... Uh... January 13th. I think it was the 20th. Okay. Then we were all taken on different days. Okay, Lady Gaga. Does that mean we were just sleeping until the nonary game started? Maybe they kept us on a soparil IV drip or something. Okay. How did they feed us? What about the fatigue? We'd be, we'd be fucked, right? In theory, you could have everyone wake up at the same time if you got the dosage right. Yeah. Then today might not even be the 25th. No, it is. I think that's likely. No, no, I, don't, I disagree. Yeah. Some of us were probably abducted after you. Okay. Oh. Well, I guess that explains why I feel kind of dizzy. You too? Thank you for the gifted subs. I am Kechi? Kechi? Hopefully that's somewhat, somewhat right. Thank you, thank you. I felt disoriented since I woke up. My body doesn't feel right. Maybe it's because we were asleep for so long. Maybe it's because you're wearing a golden toilet seat. Your muscles start to atrophy if you don't use them. Yep, I agree. Uh, then, what day is today? Beats me. I have no idea. Let's go ask the robot. He probably has an internal clock. This definitely feels like a reinforced kind of structure that has to, to has to bear a um, difficult environment. Uh, and with the space stuff that was in this room, my my mind immediately went to Mars. But I also just read a um, and uh, Andy Weir book. Is that his name? The guy who wrote The Martian. It wasn't The Martian that I read though, so my so my mind immediately went to there. Um, but it could just it could be underwater. It could be. Um, 
desert in the Arctic, some something like that. Something that has to have an enclosed environment, and it's very important for for that sort of thing. Um, it's it seems like we're in we're in that kind of uh, environment. Thank you for the gift subs, Justa. Thank you, thank you. What about you guys? Was there anything interesting in the crew quarters or the infirmary? Are we gonna be able to look around the other ones too? That's gonna nah, be interesting. Nothing in the quarters. Oh well, there was a book about a cat. A cat. A cat. Yeah. Something about a cat in a box and whether it's dead or alive. Huh? Oh, okay. Sherlock's cat. Didn't yeah. Make any sense to me though. Yeah. Hmm. Well, it doesn't really sound like something that's going to help us get out of here. Yeah. I didn't think so either. How about the infirmary? Find anything interesting? Well, actually, there was one thing. So there's Sch Schrodinger's cat. There's Pavlov's dogs. Is there like someone's rabbit? Okay, is it monologue time? What? I wasn't trying to hide it. Lock socks. The right moment to mention it just never came up. You don't do you apologize, just tell us what well, you found. See for yourself. Ooh. It's a newspaper article. Is it about a cat? Because then it would be a muse paper article. Yeah, it was in the safe in the infirmary. You guys opened the safe? Let me see that. Radical six infection spreads. Oh, it's here continues to elude authorities. Yes, it's the story fucking music. Yes. All right. I'm in. I'm in. All right. Radical six sounds really a lot like ice nine to me. All right. Here we go. What the hell? What's radical six? Just read the article. I swallowed and began to read. Sky is blue, and so am I. The Radical Six virus continues to spread across the globe like wildfire. The WHO has confirmed, the band? That the death toll is estimated to have passed 100,000 victims. And also, they want to remind everyone that it's not called Teenage Wasteland. It's called Baba O'Reilly. And if you care about that distinction, then, like, wow, you are lost. Immediate quarantine of any infected patients is strongly advised. Do you think we're in a quarantine facility? Um, uh, this seems a little too heavy duty for that, but I guess it could be some sort of lab that needs to have different environments. You mean you think we got infected with this Radical 6 thing? We're more like the Radical 9. Oh, oh it is a, it's a 9. Flip it upside down. Come on, you gotta be kidding me. We're the Radical Nine. Well, we don't know anything for sure. But look at us. We seem pretty healthy. I'm especially you. Admittedly, I don't know what the symptoms of Radical Six are. But if it's killing people worldwide, they must be horrific. What if it's bad fashion sense? That's the first one. That's the first one. I think we all qualify for that. For real. Thank you for the, uh, another round of gift subs. I am KHC. Thank you very much. I said it differently, didn't I? I'm sorry. <laughs> now, just look at this soft, lustrous skin. Yeah, Lotus for sure. And another five. Thank you very much, I am KHC. I'm, star I'm starting to feel like um, um, I'm being a scumbag. Thank you very much. That's a lot of gift subs. This perfect, shapely face. Okay, where is this going? Does this beauty look like something infected with an awful disease? You want to touch it, don't you, boy? I can see it in your eyes. It's me or the PS5? Go on. Try. Well, I am feeling a little weird. <laughs> This is kind of the appropriate response here, is it not? Like, 
he really is like Sigma male. He's like, like, yeah, this, like, like I I've touched a woman before, so this isn't kind of enticing to me. This is kind of weird, actually. What, what's your problem, lady? Like, I'm not just gonna, just gonna jump back on, on, uh, jump at the chance to touch a woman. Like, come on, like, what the hell's wrong with you? That could just be from sleeping for a couple of days. What? Or maybe it's a side effect of that drug. Uh, besides, if this is where they ship people to quarantine them, don't you think there aren't enough, uh, people? Oh, that was just a bit. Oh, okay. I thought that was going somewhere. Oh, okay. All right. Th th thank you, um, Kojima. This thing is killing people all over the world, right? So why would there only be nine of us here? <laughs> yeah, I guess you do have a think point. about it. Zero is forcing us to play this nonary game. Why would the government quarantine people and then make them play a game? And maybe that's that's the that's the puzzle. Maybe we're not. Maybe we're just hallucinating this. Just like I'm gonna force you to touch me. Also a good point. Yes, you're weird. So you're saying there's no connection between our abductions and this virus? Probably not. Hmm. Why is his neck so long? I see it too now. God damn it. Oh man, god damn it. Well, it's still something we should remember, I suppose. I mean, even if we're safe in here, our friends and families are still out there. That's true. I hope they're all yeah, it's, right. It's pretty true. I hope they're all right. Wait a minute. When did this virus actually show up? I've never heard of it Neither before. I. Oh, me either. So what day is it? If this radical six killed hundreds of thousands of people while we were asleep. Nah, I'm not gonna say it. All right, just how long have we been here for? I don't think you'll be able to just puzzle that out. If we want the truth, we need to find more information. Okay, I think I'll go look around a bit more then. I've already spent plenty of time here anyway. Uh, Alice and I are gonna stick around. Okay. You know, just in case you miss something. Okay, you're not a dick to Alice, and you're not a dick to me, so. You just don't like the rabbit and the old man for some reason, because the old man like got on your nerves a little bit. Interesting. Okay, I like this character. This character is interesting. Don't really feel like I can trust your eyes. What? Okay, I take it back. Never mind. Whatever. I turn and head for the exit. The door is blue, and so am I. Where to next? Infirmary. Do we need to see this every time? We can just go to the infirmary. We don't... <sighs> Psycho says what? How's it going? You guys find anything? Okay, either you're really short, or I misjudged how old you are. Um, hmm, okay. Hello, Mr. Sigma. Hey. Nothing yet. Well, oh. Alice, Clover, and I did go over this room quite thoroughly. I doubt you'll find any hidden hallways here. Fido is a girl, Nigido, for sure. Why are you back here, um, then? Well, I was concerned about the lady you found. Mm-hmm. Want to make sure you finish the job? Who would do such a horrible thing? Given what we know so far, you're the most likely candidate. I agree. Fi, please. Why would I kill this woman? Hey, don't get me wrong. I'm just saying the evidence points to you right now. Okay. Weird robe, older lady. I think this said 70s or 80s, right? Ten Miyoji was very, uh, seemed to be choked up about this. What, what, what is this here? Hmm. 
No, I got nothing. It would just be like wild conjecture. Okay. If we find more evidence in the future, that could change. We were so busy earlier that I never got to ask, but do any of you know who she is? It's me. I've never seen her before. I don't know her either. Neither do I. Well, I suppose I might have known her before I lost my memories, but there's no way to know, is there? Coggers? You still can't remember anything? No. Not even a little, unfortunately. You better be telling the truth about this amnesia stuff. Are you suspicious of me too, Sigma? Yeah, of course. Yeah, you're a giant robot man that can't remember anything. Yeah. Suspicious. Have you looked in a mirror lately? Yeah, me and... Oh, man. I'm a Sigma male after all. Oh, man. I'm changing my whole YouTube channel. Oh man, you know what? I'm feeling giraffes. I feel like my animal's gonna be giraffe. You're gonna, you're gonna um, open my new, next video, and it's gonna be like Sig Sigma grind set, how Sigmas play games, and it's just gonna be fucking like really, really bad out cropped explosions over a bunch of giraffes driving Ferraris. Um, the, the Ferraris on safari, and it, yeah, that's what's gonna be. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's gonna be like I'm the rarest male. The, what, what I learned from Zero Escape Virtue's last reward and why it's important. You might as well have suspicious tattooed across your forehead. If someone yep. ran into you on the street at night, they'd probably pass out from fright. Or maybe even during the day. Oh, I'm so sorry. I apologize for my frightening appearance. Well, it's not really something you need to apologize for. I mean, it's not your fault, right? No, I suppose not. Hmm. Hmm. What are the X's? Hmm. Well, I assume not. This guy is interesting because he keeps looping in my mind. He, he's he's so suspicious that it makes me think that there's no way it could be him, or or that he couldn't be guilty of something. But then the way he reacts to everyone like pointing that out makes me think he's still suspicious. So they're doing it really well because every time he's like, "Oh no, it could be you," and he's like, "No, logically it can't be," and everyone's like, "Damn, he's got a point." And I'm like, woo, 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 woo. and and here he's like, "Oh, we made fun of how he looks almost," and now he's sad and he's like, "Oh, what do you mean?" It's like deflection and it makes me think, "Well, what the hell?" You know? So. I don't know what the hell's going on here. This is interesting. But, but what? I'm not sure why, but none of this feels particularly strange. Okay. The mask and the suit, I mean. In a way, it almost feels natural. Oh. Okay. Have you needed to pee yet? I don't feel as though I was forced into it. Okay. Are you saying this is how you always look? No. I don't think that's it. This might be a pretty obvious question, but is there any way for you to take it off? How long has it been and no one asked that yet? Well, that's messed up. You can't just ask him to take it off. No. How do you know? I've tried several times to no avail. Okay, so you're just you're just peeing in the suit. You're just like a, a walking piss aquarium in there. Are you just like just, just pee all over the place. Just sloshing around. Okay, interesting. I honestly don't even know where to start. Okay. Ah, but there is something I'd like to ask of you. Okay. There are parts of the suit I can't see. Okay. Could you have a look and right. tell me if perhaps there is a switch or something similar? If there's a valve or a faucet, I'm not turning it, bro. With no further warning, he removed his robe and turned his back to us. Oh, kinky. It took no time at all to find something of interest. There's a hole here on the back of your head. That looks familiar. Isn't that like the universal symbol for on and off switch? A hole? A hole? Yeah, it looks like you insert something. And I can... S the, the, the putrid stench of urine is strong from this hole. It says open, so maybe if you put some kind of key in there... You could open up the suit and take the mask off. Okay. I see. Okay, so he has to be, or it couldn't even be he, because it could be a voice synthesizer. They, like, he has to be a character from the first game. Or, like, a clone 
or related to someone who's in this game. Like, it, it has to be. Otherwise, why put them in a suit? Although, I will appreciate it, and I will laugh for probably 30 seconds straight if he takes off the helmet at, 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 the, at some point in the game, and all of us are like, who the hell is this? <laughs> It's gotta be one of those. So he takes off the helmet, and there's another smaller version of the helmet underneath. All right, let's keep going. That's excellent news. All right. We just need to find whatever it is that goes in there, then. Yeah. Thank you. I feel somewhat relieved. All right, do you? I was beginning to fear I might have to spend the rest of my life like this. Wait, a minute ago you said that it felt natural. Well, it does, but that doesn't mean I want to stay in it forever. It's true. Imagine having glasses, for instance. I am wearing them right now, yeah. Wearing them doesn't feel strange. But you'd hardly want to wear them all the time, forever, yeah. would yeah. you? Yeah, I hate, I hate wearing my glasses for a long period, yeah. That's what wearing the suit is like. Well, I think that's enough about me. Should we move to the next room now? No. There still might be something here. I'm staying. Me too! I see. Killer says what? Well then, I will move ahead and see how our companions are doing. Very well. What do you intend to do? <laughs> hmm. I think I'll be moving along Where too. Where do you plan to go? Crew quarters. I was thinking I might go over to the crew quarters, because I'm a part of the crew. Very well. Very well. I shall head for the lounge then. Okay. Until we meet again. Ace? Very well. Ace? Excuse me. Hmm. Kay's robe flowed silently around him as he turned to leave. Okay, what if we had came here first? Could we have gone to the lounge and he would have been in the lounge for that conversation? Because that's interesting. I made my way out of the infirmary behind him. Maybe he would have went to the crew quarters if we went to, to the crew quarters first. No, because we could have come here first. Hmm, okay. Huh? So these are the crew quarters, huh? So this... Zero one. Oh, Sigma. Yeah, how's it going? Ten. My OG. What are you doing here? Like, a, a, a name with a number in it, really? Hey, come on, Mal. come on, man, don't be like that. We are enemies, are we? Huh. Huh. We are, though. Wonder. What happened to you, Temmioji? You used to be cool. You've been acting weird ever since we found that lady spot. Oh, you think so? But you sure it ain't just all in your head? Fine. Let's move on to something else then. You and Quark. Is he your uh, grandkid? Why do you want to know? Cause, you, cause he called you grandpa. Why? Well, I mean, why do you think? He keeps calling you Grandpa, of course. I'm gonna wonder what the deal is. What's the deal with Quark calling you Grandpa? We all got kidnapped and brought here, apparently for no reason. Now they're making us all play some sort of weird game. I'm just trying to find a little meaning in all this nonsense. And also, if you are, they didn't pair you together for the first round? That's kind of weird. That's it. So tell me, Temmioji. Are you really Quark's Grandpa? No... Clover, what the fuck is wrong with her? <laughs> Luna, Sigma, where'd you come from? Sigma Senpai, eh? Did you not want me here? No, it's okay, I guess. Alright, well, now you're smiling. I just thought Tenmyoji was the only other person here. 
This is the crew quarters. I came here with Clover and Tenmyoji. We decided we'd split up to investigate. Huh. Makes sense. So you find anything? Zero. So you found zero? Whoa! What? Which one? No, I meant I found zero things. That kind of looks like a Z. What about you? Anything suspicious? I didn't find anything either. Although, I guess you could say this whole facility is suspicious. I agree. Do you have any bad memories with fish? If you're thinking something naughty right now, raise your hand. Yeah, you've got a point there. So why, why do you think Zero put all these puzzles and stuff all over the place? Hmm. Well, maybe solving all of these puzzles is part of the Nonary game. Really? I thought the Nonary game was a couple rounds of the AB game. Nah, it's two games in one. Why would he need the puzzles and stuff then? Oh. 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 Why are you being quiet? Well, what is the Nonary game then? Why is Zero making us do all this? Um, well, this is just um speculation, but did she have a note? Did she uh, find find some note? You know, next to her tramp stamp is there. Right, you cannot tell anyone if if uh, about the game, or else someone will die. Like, and she's just going along with it again. Like I don't know, man. Like, wh what is she doing? Is it even Clover? Maybe it's for entertainment, so rich, powerful people can watch. Entertainment. Yes. They're probably off in an opulent theater, watching us struggle while they drink brandy and eat caviar. Okay, I really like this girl. Alright, definitely best girl. Alright, oh my god. Oh man, alright. Do you think maybe, like, she found, like, a little, a little, like... Um, like tablet and it was playing a video and it was like someone holding like snake at at door point and it was like a message and it was like if you tell anyone about the past games and who you are we're, we're, we're gonna kick him through the door again <laughs> not again <laughs> oh you think so huh so some rich bastards killed her off for kicks. What kind of a death is that? Well, maybe her dying didn't have anything to do with the rest of the game. True. No. Kay was right. If her dying wasn't part of all this, the rabbit would have said something. But what did we get? Nothing. Nothing. Just Zero. tells us to keep playing and disappears. I can only think of one reason he'd do that. Murdering her was always part of Zero's plans. Now, if you can think of another way all this fits, well, I'd love to hear it. So you're saying that Zero Senior is the one who murdered the old lady? Now, it sure looks that way. That means there's a seven in one chance anybody could be the murderer. Smile. Right now, you're the murderer to me. Is, is she also a robot and she's broken? What is this? Wait, seven? Well, Alice and I can't be zero. Okay, why not? I'll let the I part go, but you're gonna have to give me a little to convince me Alice can't be zero. What? Come on. Alice and I know each other. Well, um, how do you know each other? Uh, I guess you could say we're co-workers. Okay. Do you work on setting up the Nonary game? And where do you co-work? An organization? Uh, That's kind of vague. Yeah, what I... What kind of organization? I agree with Rise. Um, that's... What, what are you doing right now, Clover? I can't tell you. How is how is the the character from the first game the most awkward suspicious one of them all? Like you, <laughs> that should be the one that you should be like, yeah, okay, I can rule her out. <laughs> what are you doing, Clover? <laughs> what? What do you mean you can't tell us? I mean, I can't tell you. Okay, then why did you bring it up, Pebbles? Just forget about it, okay? All right. Why can't you tell us? 
<laughs> because it's confidential. <laughs> All right. I promised I wouldn't tell. Okay, or else they're gonna they're gonna kick my brother through a door and he's gonna explode again. Oh come on, don't give me that. Look around you, Clover. You really think this is the time for playing it close to the chest? Yeah. But what if the people you work for have something to do with what's going on here? Yeah. <laughs> Not again is my favorite running joke right now. I don't know why. <laughs> funny to me <laughs> okay <laughs> you're right you're right maybe i should tell you okay tell us what's the smile finally hey hey what are you gonna tell us about the woman sorry to butt in but it's time to go no are you his grandpa what what do you mean time to oh 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 shit it's past time we gotta go you think? Okay, so nothing happened here. This is great. All right, amazing. Oh. What is this on the wall over here? I guess we'll just have to continue this later. Uh huh. Yeah. We have to get back to the doors. Mhm. Mm but one of you's gonna die before we can. I sure hope it's Clover. Shit. I guess you're right. Let's go. Do 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 Okay. Ugh, you're late. Sorry. What were you doing? Talking. You're not my mom. Could be if you wanted to, though. An apology is not going to cut it. Okay. I can't go through that door without you. All right. Zero said we'd get penalized if we didn't go through the primary door before it closed. Are you trying to kill me? No. No, of course not. I thought you didn't need a partner to get through the primary doors, though. Are you kidding me? Think it through, Sigma. Yes, you can go through the primary door by yourself. Now, you're standing in front of the secondary door. The time limit comes, and the primary door shuts. Now what? Now you're stuck is what? Without the right number of bracelets, the secondary door won't open. Do you understand? Yeah, we know this, yeah. There'd be no way to open either door, huh? Man, that sounds even worse than getting your lungs turned off. Sorry for worrying you, Quark. <laughs> In any event, now is hardly the time to be fighting like this. As you can see, the primary doors have already opened. We must hurry and decide who will be going through which door and with whom. So how should we pair up? We're almost out of time. I'll just explain it as fast as I can. Just like before, there are only three possible combinations. Well, you have to pick, Hajime. Where are we going? The options Phi To laid out for us were the following. Option A. Alice and I, Cyan, would pair up with Luna. Yell oh, that's what we're doing for sure. Yeah, 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 Okay, yep. Yeah. Temioji and Quark Magento would pair up with the cl with Clover, Cyan, and open the blue door. Phi and Dio Yellow would pair up with K Magenta and open the red door. Option B. Alice and I, Cyan, would pair up with K Magenta and go through the blue door. Okay, that's actually kind of tempting. Hmm. Okay, K's interesting. That's a little tempting. Alright. Temyoji and Quark Magento would pair up with Luna Yellow and open the red door. Phi and Dio Yellow would pair up with Clover Cyan and open the green door. Option C. Alice and I Cyan and Clover Cyan 
would pair up and go through the red door. Oh no, we can have a, a an Alice and Clover conversation. Ooh, okay, that's interesting. And then it's like, would we? Would Alice be like, I want to betray Clover at the end? Temioji and Quark Magenta would pair up with K Magenta and open the green door. Fi and Dio Yellow would pair up with Luna Yellow and open the blue door. Okay, I'm really, I'm really tempted. Okay, these are good choices. Until chromatic doors close. <laughs> all right, all right. So, what are we doing? I'm not pairing up with K. Oh? oh, why not? We'd end up playing against each other in the next AB game. Last time, you betrayed Clover. How am I supposed to know you won't do the same to me? <laughs> you can't be trusted. How unfortunate. To be honest, however, I would rather not go with you either. Ooh. Yeah? Why's that? Well, you only have one BP left. I very much doubt you'll choose to ally in the next round. Even if you promised me you would choose to ally, I'd be in an undesirable situation. You see, I wouldn't be able to choose to betray. If I did, and you were true to your word and allied, then I would kill you. So there you are. That is why I do not wish to be paired with Tenmyoji. Of course, for the same reason, I would rather not be paired with Alice. That's not a problem. Sigma and I will be taking Clover. Yeah, I agree. Th this is th this is the most interesting path because then we can find out like would she actually vote betray? Again? Well, then again, maybe the rules aren't li aren't like that. I'm assuming that you can that you can play through this multiple times. You know, I don't I don't know why I think that. And and there's gonna be different choices. And you get different information. Um, but but yeah, we can probably we can probably see what that's gonna look like, right? Oh shit! Sorry, wrong button. Hey, Owie. All right, let's click on it for real now. Oh, whoops, wrong button. All right. All right, for for real this time. This time, this time we're gonna we're gonna press it. Okay, this time we're gonna press it for real. Okay, ready? All right. I promise I'm gonna press the mouse button and I will not move the mouse. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, I promise. All right. Oh, whoops, wrong button. Sigma and I will be taking Clover. I trust her more than any of the rest of you. Okay, she literally voted betray last time. Yep. Yep. I want to go with Alice too. Hey, wait a minute. Don't I get a say in this? No. I would like to go with Sigma or Phi. Yeah, I would also like you to, to come along. They chose Ally last time. Yeah, we did. Ooh, I like the sound of that. Oh my god, how many different... Okay, so hold on. So we have... The three door paths, which is different people. And each of those has an ally or betray choice. Oh my... Fucking God! What? How the sh so there's there's two cascading choices after the first one. All right, that's really interesting. Holy shit! I'm Fi's partner. You should pair up with us. Man, this streamer's building a flow chart in his head without even looking at it. He's taking VR VRL off the grid. Oh man! Sound good? He doesn't have a, a flow chart for VLR. No. No. I am also opposed to that choice. If Alice and Clover pair up, and Luna and Dio pair up, the rest of us don't have a choice. Okay. We'll be stuck with Phi's option C. I believe I mentioned before that I do not wish to be paired with Tenmyoji. And I don't want to go with K either. <laughs> then what the hell are we supposed to do? One minute remains until chromatic doors close. What's wrong, Quark? It's all over. This is it. We're all going to die. We are. You're right. Are you all right? No. What's going on, Quark? No. That's not it. Don't you get it? Uh-oh. We are going to die. Is this what is known as Radical Six? We have to die. We have to die here. All of us. What, what the hell? Oh, snap out of it, kid. Oh, come on, Quark. Talk to me. No, I'm fine. You're the crazy ones. 
you are the ones who are the crazy ones. Serious about the stupid game? We should just stop. End this. End all of it. End everything. <sighs> we need to get him to the infirmary. No, we don't have time. 30 seconds remain until chromatic doors close. We don't have a choice. Quark's with me. I'll carry him through. But we still haven't figured out who's going where. Is he getting the remembering disease or something? I can't afford to be picky anymore. Someone just choose. I don't care who. Sigma, you have to choose. <laughs> we get to choose? What? Why me? Please just do it. We don't have any time left. Nine, eight, seven. I swallowed. I, Alice and I will go through the green door with Luna, go through the blue door with Kay, go through the red door with Clover. All right, let's uh, mosey on over to chat and see which which option will lose the most points for the most people. How do I see it? Do, 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 do. I can't actually see it, so never mind. Um, okay, so I'm very interested to see a conversation with Kay. Kay. Kay is interesting to me. All the characters are somewhat interesting to me right now, but Kay is the most interesting. I like Luna as a person, but she's kind of boring, which makes me think that she's probably going to have... like I. They, they gained a lot of credit with me in the first game by having almost every single character have somewhat of an interesting part of the story. So there was no... There was no real dead character apart from the one that died right at the beginning. Um, so I'm... I, I, I have faith that Luna is going to turn into a more interesting character. But right now I just like it because, you know, it's Risei. Um, and also she ma she's made a couple of good points so far. She seems to have her, her head on her shoulders. Um, but, like, it's definitely between Luna and Clover right now. Um, I really want to see what happens between Alice and Clover voting against each other, but I have a feeling it's going to be, oh, you thought the rules were going to be the same? No, you're not voting against each other. Actually, we're going to pair off color versus color this time or, or something like that. Um, but I'm definitely going Luna. <laughs> Alice and I will take Clover and go through the red door. Oh, whoops, wrong button. No. No. I cannot allow you to do that. God damn it, Kay. You're a robot, not a doctor. We don't have time for this. Choose a different door. No. Please. No. He stood in front of the red door, solid and immovable in his metal armor. Are we about the bad end? I didn't think I could force my way past him, and I knew I didn't have the time to try. <laughs> Shit. Why is he upset? There were two doors left for me to choose from. It's Snake for sure. But which one? What? Why not? Okay, can I go can I go with K then? Wait, don't we only have five seconds and he and he's talking? Alice. K, the blue door. Right. The casino. We should hurry. We should hurry. Now back to the waifu. Do, 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 do. Alice. Luna. Sorry, I got a message through the morph energetic field that um, I'm supposed to go green. Sorry. The green door. Right. The casino. Right. I'm coming. Okay. This feels right. They both took off for the door and I followed behind it. Right. This fucking monster, like, I don't, I don't know what to do. He picked all three. <laughs> Is that going on Dragon Set right now? Dude, I don't know what to do. What, what, who do I pay out? He picked all three. <laughs> okay, 
I, I personally think, and I haven't seen the poll, so I have no idea, okay? I personally think that it should... I legitimately wanted to go with Clover. So, so red is what I picked, right? But, like, I don't know. You could make an argument that that Luna is the one that we went with. But, like, I, I personally think that it counts as I, I chose red, right? Because that's the one I wanted to go with, and it wouldn't, and it wouldn't let me... Zero escape spoiler chat on, on red alert. <sighs> oh man. Oh man. They both took off for the door and I followed behind at a run. I glanced back over my shoulder in time to see the others head into their respective doors. Phi, Dio, and K ducked into the red door. Just as Temiyoji carried Quark through the blue door, Clover right on his heels. Two, one, zero. Chromatic doors closing. I knew that you couldn't actually go through the red door, and I chose that first, just to mess up with the poll, and that you would lose all your points, even though we ended up going through the door that I really wanted to go through with my waifu. It's not just that I wanted to go green, I wanted you all to lose your points at the same time. It's not... <laughs> it wasn't enough that I get to go with Risei. Others must also fail. <laughs> Whoa. Is that it? All three doors seem to be locked. <laughs> That's unfortunate. It is, I uh, true, it's true. <laughs> What's this thing here? It looks like the device next to the number nine door. Why don't you try pulling the lever? <laughs> Wrong lever, might as well. Huh? Look at the door on the right. Joe, it's locked, mods need help. What do you mean? What? What's going on? Is it really, is it really a problem? <laughs> All, all mods participated, so they can't close it. <laughs> what is this collusion, mods? I I definitely approve. What what the hell? Red Red was the one. Prediction Prediction Red. Red. There we go. Yay! Justice for Red. All right, we did it. Oh man, voting's hard. Man, no no wonder Doug Ford's still premier. Voting is hard. Voting is very hard. We're all millennials and zoomers here. We don't know what the fuck we're doing. Thank you for the turnout. All right. Yeah, red. All right. Oh, man. Oh, 1.5 million payout. See details. All right. Oh, man. Oh, that was like the lowest one. Holy shit. Everyone thought we were going to go green. Oh, you oh, you. Oh, BTF phone! Oh, how does it feel that we actually are in the green door right now? Oh, man. Oh, that's got it. Oh, that's salt and vinegar right in the wound. Like, salt and vinegar chips, too. Like, there's edges, too, in the wound. Oh, man. What the hell? We're in green, but I know get points. Oh, oh, man. That is delicious. This is the best vote ever that we've ever done in the history of voting on the stream. Holy shit. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, all right, let's keep going. Oh, I'm so happy. And look at the door on the right. It <laughs> huh? That doesn't make sense. Why would just the one on the right open? How do you open the other two? You're probably just overthinking it. Man, it's so green in here, even though we chose red. It's, it feels so good. That door opened. That means we're going through it. Bring it on. Treatment center. Bring it on, but. Don't go soft on me now. I'll leave you behind. Whoa. Mommy? Sorry. Mommy? Mommy? Come on, Sigma. Let's go. What is this place? It is kind of confusing, isn't it? I wonder if someone is giving themselves a pep talk right now, being like, why why do I, why do you take these monocoin bets so seriously? Just oh god damn it. Every time, just getting roped in. Like, oh man. Alright, kind of confusing, what isn't is it? it? Alright, this looks interesting. Well, it looks <laughs> like some sort of workroom. If you say so. 
We should split up and search it. We need to find um key cards with moon symbols on them, right? Right. Is it me or is she getting cuter as the game goes on? Yes. They should be somewhere in this room. <laughs> Alright, let's get to it. Seek a way out. Do, 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 do. Oh, all right. That's uh, interesting. All right, star thing. We need a star shape to go in there, I'm guessing. There's the safe. Some sort of robot surgery. Oh, I can move. Oh, that's interesting. Computer terminal. Laptop. Uh, okay, something that we're gonna light up, or... No L. Okay, and there's nothing on that side, looks like. It's kind of like a stage, yeah, like for disco. Really? Disco? What's disco? Disco, these nut- uh, who knows? Not me. Ha 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 ha. Actually, I just thought of one that could go with Disco, but it's very dirty, so I'm not going to say it. Let's just say Disco sounds like Disco's. Battery A. Alright. That's a battery. Is it? Thin ones like that are usually used for notebooks. That's true, yeah. A toolbox. It's got a key in it. Huh? That's odd. What is it? This key. It obviously goes into this keyhole, but it won't turn. Can you get it out? Hmm, let's, let me see. What's with this key? It's completely rusted. No wonder it won't turn. Um. What? Rusty keys work. It would be a rusty lock that wouldn't work, right? Not a rusty key, right? Wow, there's a lot of stuff here. Oh, anyone else feel dizzy all of a sudden? No, that's just your imagination. Yeah, right, whatever. So what the heck is this? I have no idea, which makes it pretty useless to us. Wait. It's kind of a mess here. There's stuff all over this thing. What's that? Looks like a piece of something? Piece of what? Chevron block. What is this? It's kind of like a hexagon if you flipped one of the corners in. I mean, technically it's still a hexagon, but... Hmm. True. Maybe I could... What are you going to do with that? How about this? No. Are you serious? Okay, so is this just placeholder for you clicked on nothing, you're a dumbass? Just, you know, what would you hit? There's something in here. I don't think so. Maybe roll around a bit. Don't think it's going to do anything. What do you think of a Ouija board? A poster, huh? It's a little unsettling. Maybe it's a clue. Yeah, let's take it. You found a poster with an eye in the center of it. You can view it in the archive. Alright. There's a white jacket in there. In here, sorry, it looks like it's something on the, on the label? Label? A name tag. Harold. ID 11010. Okay. All right, binary. Harold, the name tag must belong to Mr. Harold. There's something written on the back of it. There's someone named Harold. Perkins, you son of a bitch. A white jacket, huh? Oh, look, something in his pocket. Looks like the other one I found. Why we two same thing? This was attached to each other, really? Yes, I think there are magnets inside it. All right, let's do it. Yeah, I thought it was going to be the star thing. Okay, cool. Is this a binder? There's a single piece of paper in here. It looks like a list. You have found a frequency list. You can view it in the archive. A doctor's coat, huh? Would you like me to put it on? I actually really would. Would you? Huh? Why? I just thought you might be into that kind of thing. Let's pretend that I am, so you'll put it on. I am, though, for real. What What do you do? I don't know what you're talking about. See? Bullseye. Look at you, all bashful. You can be cute when you're embarrassed. Hee <laughs> hee 
Huh? You said you have a medical license, right? Oh, um, yes, yes, I do. Lies? It's me, boy. I'm the PS5. That's with some drawers. There's a PC monitor and a keyboard on top of it. Where's the computer? I imagine it's built into the monitor. Uh, are you going to tell us that maybe it's a wireless computer and this is just a monitor connected somewhere else? Hmm. It's kind of hard to see in the slight, but there's a single cable coming on the back of it. Is it a power cable? I think so. Then maybe we can connect it to something with an electrical socket. Have you seen anything like that, Sigma? Just some drawers, PC on top of it, some power cables running from the back. It's a computer monitor, nothing's on it though. I don't see a power button anywhere. Pretty old keyboard, looks like it's been used quite a bit. Nothing happens when we typing on it? Was that a mistake or did I, did I read it wrong? Um, I actually want to read the archive thing. Okay. R B E M E A I C icon. Hmm. Okay, there are no words you can make with RB next to each other. No, there are. Um, HC next to each other? Is there a word like that that can have that? That for sure. There must be at least one. ID. Okay, so we have 11010, so 400 hertz. 400 hertz. Okay, are there going to be others that we find? I think we need to add 27 to this somehow. Doesn't this button seem suspicious? Yeah, most of the buttons are boring or just incomprehensible. This one speaks to me. What does it say? Come on, a bigger button with a plate on black and yellow stripes? It couldn't It couldn't scream, don't press me any louder if it said don't press me on it. Let's press it. Is this self-destruct button? Maybe the moment we press it, we'll hear soft, a soft hiss and then the room will start to fill up with poisonous gas. What if it launches a missile? Are we flirting? I don't know, It seems that seems a little... Yeah. Hey, hey, what are you doing? It's okay. There's no way anything really dangerous would just be right out here. I'm pretty sure Zero Senior wants us to play through this whole game. That's a good point. It wouldn't make much sense to kill us in one of these rooms. And also, you guys are flirting, and I wanted to stop it, maybe, but that's just your opinion. You could be wrong. What is this pose? Well, I guess so. Then why the hell did you... Hey, hey, hey! Calm down, nothing happened, so there's nothing to get mad about, alright? Humph. You heard that noise though, right? Like something trying to start up. Hmm. Most part of the control console. There are switches and dials everywhere. They all make absolutely zero sense to me. Ah. Lower part of the control console. Lower part of the control console. I didn't do what stuff means either. But what do these buttons do? Probably shouldn't press any of them just to be safe. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna find the, ah, there's the piece. Okay, cool. Oh, he's bleeding. Is this what's inside K? What the heck is this guy? Maybe it's an Egyptian mummy. Oh, addressing it. Okay, interesting. What? Anyway, any way you look at it, it's a robot. Then maybe it's a robot. There's no maybe about it. I can't imagine it's anything else. You're kidding, right? Maybe this is what you look like under the skin. That's insane. Well, what do you think it is? Just a, well, well-made mannequin. It's got an antenna. Do you think it could be a radio? Why don't you try turning it on? Yeah, well, I tried that. Nothing happens. Maybe the batteries are dead. Hmm, what is it? I don't think it runs on batteries. There's an electrical socket on the side here. So you're saying it needs a power cable. Why don't we go hook it up to that power cable we saw earlier? A robot -y thing. I don't think it's just a crash test dummy or something like it. Okay, is there anything on the robot? No? Okay. What's this thing? It's shaped like a star. Oh, I thought we were going to like make another screwdriver with it, but no, I guess not. I guess we're just slotting it in. We need to put something into it. Something that's shaped like a star, I'm assuming? Huh? That's odd. Why won't it fit? The star-shaped block? Yeah, it's the same shape and everything. Well, maybe it's not the right size. I guess so. It looks like this block is a little too big to fit. Uh... 
Lamayo got him? What? Are we supposed to... What? Really? Do we file it down? Oh. Okay. What does this button do? Huh? There's a button up here. Then maybe you should press it. Right. Here it goes. Uh-oh. Wow. I'm really lucky that I saw that. I thought that was just a part of this thing here. Okay. Look. It's eyes. They're glowing red. Does this mean it's on? Alice, get on the table. All right. A robot -y thing. It's been powered on, but it hasn't done so much as Twitch. Then again, it's not like I want it to Twitch. Twitch TV? A robot -y thing. Okay, so... Oh, that did nothing. All right, did anything else turn on in the room then? Okay, can we use the thing on the power cable over here? I think we can plug this cable into the right. Oh, we can! All right, nice. Okay, I thought maybe I was being dumb. Perfect. All right, now what? I guess it's nice that we plug this radio in, but what do we do with it now? Why don't you try tuning it? What? You need to adjust it so it's picking up a specific frequency. Maybe we'll hear something. Exactly. If we get really lucky, maybe it can pick up transmissions from the outside. No, there's no way. Press the tuning buttons until you match the desired frequency and press the check button to test your solution. You must press the tuning buttons exactly four times. Pressing a check button before them will do nothing. What? Right. I'll see what I can do. Ooh. What do you mean? I want 400 hertz. Oh shit, okay. Okay, so this sends it one, two, three. This sends it one, two, three, four, five. And this sends it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've already forgotten. Three, five, seven. Okay, all right. Complete. What? What was that noise? Look! Look! The monitor! It reacted to the noise from the radio and turned on. So it's some kind of voice recognition system then. It looks that way, yes. There's something on the screen. This is... I think it's a blueprint of this room. You have found an, an image of the room layout. You can review it in the archive. Alright, let's go look at it. Alright, so there's something on off it's a circuit what's this v all right is there something on the other side of the table what is this it feels kind of greasy maybe it's oil oh we can put some oil on the thing Maybe it's some kind of lubricant. Put a little oil on this table. Maybe it's some kind of... Okay, we'll dip it in, and then we can push it in the thing. Oh, we can't? Really? All right, what about the key? Maybe put this rusty key in the oil. All right. That should all worked, right? Come on. That's a good idea. I guess it worked. The lock's open. Yeah, let's have a look inside then, shall we? Oh, it's a drink. Here's some complimentary refreshments while you're in this this escape room. Oh, thanks, Zero. There's a bunch of stuff in here. Might as well have a look then. Washing. A bottle of detergent. I think I saw a commercial for this the other day. It's supposed to er eradicate grease and oil stains. All right. Screwdriver. That's a screwdriver. You could probably use it to unscrew screws. Or screw screws. A silver key. We can probably open a lock with this, you think? Whoa, why are we being mean? Okay, I don't remember there being another another thing to unlock. This? Can we screw this? Radio no, okay. Okay, so detergent for the oil? 
Oh, are you going to use the detergent to clean up the oil? That sounds like a good idea, but I don't think the detergent by itself is going to be enough. You need something to wipe it with. Then how about putting the detergent on a rag or something? All right, give me your jacket. That seems like it would be easier. All right, well, we have lots of things like that. Okay, I feel like I have missed something somewhere. Can I turn this off? Nothing's happening. All right, what if I hit the button again now? Red button, center console, start pushing one more time. There's again, what is that? I wonder what's making it. Whatever says it's like it's working right. It kind of sounded like it didn't have enough juice or something. Hmm. Okay, is there a part of this that I can look at that I haven't clicked on? Oh, let's use that as a rag. White jacket in here. Doesn't see anything else. Okay, well, let, let's go. We can use that to mop it up. All right, can we open these? No? Okay. Let's go on top of it. Push it down. Doesn't seem to do anything. I just need to throw it. Alright, it doesn't seem like there's anything else here to pick up. Can I get down there? Nope. Come back, please. Can I look up or anything? Okay, can we take a part of the robot apart with a screwdriver? A robot -y thing and some puddle in your shoulders. Okay, can we use a silver key on the robot? No. Can we use this on the robot? No. Can we use this on the robot? It's Harold. Harold the robot. Can we use the star on the robot? No. Detergent on the robot? No. Okay. Can we combine any of these things? Let's put the detergent in the hole. No. Okay. I'm starting to think I've really... Oh, that must go in. I'm starting to think um, I've really just forgotten. I, I've missed something. Somewhere in the room. Okay, can we use the screwdriver on these things here? Probably not. Star-shaped slot in the roll. Probably need to... Okay, we need to just use the screwdriver on something. Oh, all right. Time to use the screwdriver on everything. This time for sure. Okay, what was, we got this. What is the, the pink X? This looks like the stage to me. What's the V? Is there something over there? This is where I think we're hitting the button, right? So there's something over here. And how do I get to the X? I can't go around the table, can I? Is there just like some command I'm missing somewhere? How do I get across the table? Can I go over here and then turn around? No. V. All right, is it just the door? This exit is locked. Looks like the door lock has a keyhole. Let's use the silver key in the keyhole. No. Is it, could, let's take apart this with the screwdriver. It's empty, there's nothing in here anymore. Okay, yeah, I've definitely just missed something somewhere. Shit. Can I open? Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. So it was. I just missed something somewhere. My bad. Sorry. That must have been frustrating. All right. No good. It won't open. Is it locked? Yeah. Well, there's a key hole here, so we could probably get it open if we can find a key that fits. Wait, Sigma, you don't, don't you already have a key? Hurry up and put it in. Oh, I will. Yes, it worked. Now open it. Hold on. No need to rush me. 
Ah, okay, and inside we get a slightly smaller one. Oh, please. Yes, it fits perfectly. There's just like, just a million of them in there. Did you just hear a noise? Yeah, all right, you got a rag. Congratulations, yeah, from the middle drawer. The middle drawer, huh? The middle drawer. That's not the middle drawer. A tablet. Huh? No response to this tablet. Is it broken? Part of the back seems to be held on by screws, so I bet this other the batteries go. Okay, what about the middle drawer? Excuse me. Okay, now screw it back together. Let's put the battery in there, huh? Yeah, it still doesn't do anything. Maybe you don't have enough. Enough of what? Do I have to spell it out? Batteries. Look at the indentation. I'm pretty sure it can hold more than one. That's true, we need battery, uh, probably battery C, I'm gonna guess. This is secretly a battery. All right, can we close the drawers? <laughs> Fuck off, game, really? You have to use the smaller star to get the bigger star. Okay, I get, I get why they did that though, because you need to have the valve to turn it, all right. Is this a handle? Look at the end of the shaft. It's the same shape as the block we made. Then maybe it fits in the star-shaped hole. Have you seen anything that Miss Fight into, Sigma? <laughs> yes, perfect. Do you think you can turn it? Yeah, give me a sec. What the hell? Something's coming down from the ceiling. Those are... Clowns. Oh. It's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, all the way to K. Oh my god. They look just like the thing on the table. Robots. Robots everywhere. Golem Bay? Like Golem? Okay. Oh, you're wearing pants! Boxers! I want to. It's a rag! This one's wearing boxers. Yeah, it looks like it. Why would a robot be wearing underwear? Maybe he's uh, hiding something. Hiding what, though? Like a diary or something? Why the hell would you hide a diary in your crotch? I don't know. Okay, well, maybe he's got a hose or something. Oh, he's got a hose, all right. Whoa, damn, way to cut to the chase there. Yeah, yeah, I agree, yeah. Whatever, we'll know as soon as we get them off. Remove these shorts of obfuscation and let us gaze upon it. This so-called hose. All right, Gundam. Aren't you getting a little too excited about this? All right, here goes. Ah, Luna, I haven't done anything yet. He's still decent. Besides, when you covered your face and you opened your fingers so you could see out, how old are you? He he he. Our you two are driving me nuts. I'll just take them off. Huh? Hi ya. Boxers, you should try them on, Sigma. What? Why? Thought they might suit you. Why would you think that? Well, what do we need them for if we're not supposed to wear them? Hmm. Maybe we're supposed to use them to wipe something. Huh, not to wear, but to wipe. Yeah, I think that's it. Why didn't we just use the lab coat then? Actually, are lab coats resistant to that sort of thing? Some lab coats are, you can't really use like that. I mean, I'm pretty sure you still could though. Like, come on, you could use the lab coat. I had a job once where I, where I wore a lab coat. It was pretty fun. Oh, I'm repeating myself here, but what the hell are these things? They're robots, I told you. So what, is this some sort of secret military R&D lab? Yes. Why would you think that? Isn't it obvious? Isn't that obvious? These things are weapons. You don't know that. What, are you going to say these are built for housework? They might be. Sure, I can see people buying monstrous metal, metal skeletons to stock their house, vacuuming rooms, folding clothes, and rocking children to sleep. I mean, if it's normalized, it's fine. I don't think all these robots are here just to scare us or surprise us or something. This just seems like an awful lot of work to go to, go to just to get a reaction out of us, you know? Yeah, you have a point. These are definitely real robots. Some might even say they're real. All right, is the other side robots too? Oh, the other side's robots as well. All right, cool. It's it's all robots. Oh, hey, the power's on. It's showing something. An authentic authentication screen, maybe. It probably has some sort of security lock. Enter the password, then press enter button on the right. Uh, nine. No. Um, all ice. Zero sucks. 
No. Um. Feels like it's gonna fit the whole thing. Finally, Leon has. No, it's gonna be a phrase, right? Two milkmen. Nah, it's gonna fit the whole thing. Go. Virtues last R. No. Oh, there are numbers. One, one, zero, three, seven. Nope. No good, I can't figure it out. We need some sort of clue. Battery A, battery P, B, is that a clue? Is there a clue on the shorts maybe? Is it Harold? Is it just Harold? Harold 11010? Harold 11010. No. Okay, here goes. Is this going to be the password? You're going to wipe up all the oil with the boxes, right? Yeah, okay, go for it. One twenty V? Looks like it's clean now. I wonder what this is. There's something written here that the oil is covering up. One twenty V, right? Okay, um, Okay, that doesn't really help me because I there's no way to change the voltage is there or is there now that this came down Where did this come from? Woo Oh, it's connected up there. Okay, never mind this came down with the robots, right? Yes. All right, it tells you. Okay, it's got a pipe running out, out of it toward them. I have a feeling that means there's a connection there. Supply the correct voltage by connecting the wires. You can begin anywhere on the left and finish anywhere on the right. You can rotate a wire by clicking its corresponding square. The numbers in the middle of each wire will indicate the voltage of that wire. Okay, let me just give this a try. Is it going to be Bioshock pipe puzzle? Oh, my God. Okay, so I need to get it up to... What was it? Was it... Oh, fuck. Was it 140 or 120? I can't remember now. Wait, where does it start? Oh, anywhere to the left. Anywhere from the left, anywhere to the right. It said that. My bad. Okay. Uh, was it 120 or 140? I think it was 120, wasn't it? Okay, we're at 90. Um, so, we're screwed. We can't do it. So, that's not it. Okay, we're at 70. Okay, there's no way to do it with 100. Excuse me. Can we do it with 35? 70. One twenty volts. Sorry, one ten volts. So we need ten more. So that's that's not it. Um, if we skip the ten, no, we can't skip the ten. Can we skip the ten? I don't think we can skip the ten. Okay, what if we skip this? We can't skip the sixty either. So I think this is out. This is not it. This is not a part of the puzzle. Okay, what about if we go here and then up here? No, that's not going to work either. All right, so that's 70. What do we need now then? We need 50. How are we getting 50? We can get 40 maybe. No. Is it 120? Hold on. I can't figure it out. I mean, the voltage is supposed to set this thing anyway. I'm very far unless we know that. In other words, more information. Have you seen anything that means voltage anywhere? Let me go see. Was it 120 or was it 140? Okay, it was 120. Okay, 120. Ch -ch 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 
Okay, that's the only way I can get out of here, and I can't move it down. So I could go up here, but then this, uh, I'm already over it. So it has to go down. So at that point, I can go back here. So now I'm at 75. That's going to get me 210 again. Can I go here? Is that it? That's it. Okay, cool. Completed. Good job, Sigma. Oh, you're amazing. I've fallen for you all over again. Ooh, we're in. Hey, hey, what? Power distribution complete. Pre-boot sequence complete. Please press the power button located on the console. Whoa, what was that? I'm not sure. Better do what it says, though. Okay, I think I'm done with this thing. The last announcement seemed to be suggesting I push the power button on the console. Okay, so I'm guessing that this is the second puzzle for the golden file that we're never gonna uh, that we're never gonna open and we're not gonna look at. So is it something to do with Harold or something to do with something that we picked up? Like there was a lot of information on this frequency. Oh no, it's the eye! It's the eye. Hold on. What what the hell is um the the poster with the eye on it? Okay, so. What the fuck does this mean? Can you spell a word with some combinations? I guess it would fill up all of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, so we need six combinations, or six, six of them. So six of them go into it. Okay. Is there a way to narrow it down more? Is there some part of this? Uh, I should probably just finish the puzzle and see and f see first. Maybe we're going to get more information. The announcement just now was about this button. You guys ready? I'm going to push it. Yes, I'm ready. Same. Go for it. All right. And there. And then the robot killed us. Did it work? Ah, look. Their eyes. Eyes. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so it's which one is left? This one's the upper one? Okay, I need um Can I see the memo? Okay. So if we do this, it would be like zero one zero zero one one zero one one zero, right? And that would be, I think it was one one zero one zero one zero zero one zero zero one. One, two, three, four, five. I made a mistake. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. I made a mistake somewhere on the other side. My bad. Where'd I make the mistake? I forgot that one over there. Zero. This is a one. There's an extra one here, right? One, two, three, four, five. I've completely messed this up. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's that one, right? And then this one is zero one. And that one's one zero. I forgot. I just forgot a whole ass robot over here. Okay, there we go. All right. I will surely not get confused. I will surely not get confused. Here we go. All right. Can I have the memo up when I look at, at the thing on the archive? Yeah. All right. So it is. Um, so it's B, then nothing, then E, A, then C, right? And then O, and then what? Not beacon? Becoy? Did I make a mistake? It's gotta be beacon, right? Becoy? Alright. O S E uh, F N all right, it's it's not going well. It's this <laughs> I thought this was gonna make I thought this was gonna make a very clear fucking answer, but I have OSFN fucking VLR is a shit. It gave me two fives. What what the fuck is this? All right, N and then nothing and then E no and then and then O. O, and then E. Osfno. All right, so it's Bikoi Osfno. All right, what could go wrong? Here we go. Here we go. Let's type it in the fucking thing. All right. Bikoi Osfno. All right. <laughs> What do you mean it fails? How how could it not be that? What do you mean it's not Bikoi Os? No. Oh man, so did I do it wrong or is that just not even what it is? Like, is it the is it the eyes that are off? I guess. Be it almost said beacon. That that's that's what looks right to me. What's fucking off snow? All right, wait, maybe it's beacon off snow. Beacon off off snow. If it is. <laughs> no, there's no way. Maybe it's off snow beacon. <laughs> what do you mean, failed? How could it fail? Oh, well, it looks like we need to put in 12 characters. Is there 12 anything else in here? There is maybe this connection. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Okay, let's. Let's wipe the fucking thing off, okay? Here we go. We're gonna wipe the we're gonna wipe it off. Alright, okay, so first one, alright, is off on off off on on off on. Alright, one, two, three, four. Alright, now we're gonna move over a little bit. Alright, here we go. All right, so that's that one, that's that one, and then it's on, oh shit. No, now it's a different color, god damn. Okay, so on, off, on, off. Okay, that's it, all right, we're right. On, off, on, off, off, on, 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 off, off. Okay, that seems right. Okay, here we go. Now the other side, all right. Does does it start on this side though? Is it is it from a fucking um like like I'm going from left to right, but is this actually the first one? Alright. 
that's probably right, isn't it? Because the way that the that the map looks like that, and like that was almost beacon. Is that actually beacon? Because if that's the case, then then yeah, I'm right. It's completely fucking backwards. It's off snow. All right, here we go. I know. I feel like off snow feels kind of correct to me, to be honest. All right, poster with an eye on it. Here we go. All right. So if we go through it, we have B E A. C. Oh. Oh, it's Beacon. Oh, it's not Beacoy. It's it's Beacon. Oh, man. All along, it was Beacon. Okay, cool. All right. So, last time, it was off snow. So, this time, it's... P... No. Shit. <laughs> it, the P would be at the end, right? It would be... P E E P and then what was off snow off snow that one would be here right so it would be E again off snow the N would be here which would be C off snow O would be C again beacon next uh, and the uh, off snow so that would be S all right, so it's Beacon Seppi. All right, Beacon Seppi. All right, here we go. That's it for sure. All right, here we go. Um, let's go into the thing. Let's type it in. Beacon Seppi. <laughs> it's it's Beacon Seekin. That's what it is. Beacon Seekin. Oh. <sighs> Is it beacon ex except except isn't gonna fit? Is it? Oh, it is. No, it's not that. All right. Beacon bacon. Okay. So, is this the first one? If it is, what? Am I looking at, do I have to reverse it? Like, is, okay, so like here, let's let's pull up the memo again. Um, so is this from, uh, do I have to like adopt their perspective like I was still looking at the other side? So this, this, I want, I want to write this one zero one, but it's actually one zero. Oh God. So it's actually one zero. Right? And this isn't actually um, one zero, it's actually zero one. And this isn't actually zero zero, it's actually one one. This isn't actually zero one, it's one zero. Oh, we're green again. Oh no, that's not zero one, it's one zero. This is a two, what does the two mean? And this is one one, easy, easy peasy. Okay, this is one. Okay, so this I don't know what the two means, but all right, this is a hard puzzle. It's giving me different numbers now. All right, poster with an eye on it. All right, memo. All right, so it's oh, it's still O again. All right, O. Oh. O. F. Nothing. H. Okay, it's not looking good. <laughs> Oh, it's speaking of. <laughs> I was like, off? Oh, what the fuck? Alright, beacon of hope. Okay. Alright, anyway, so we have this guy's name. His name, thank you for, for this. This guy's name is B. Koi. Off snee. Off snow. All right, we finally named him. Bekoy off snow. Oh, is it S F? Sorry, S F. There we go. Osnuff. Os Os snow. There we go. That's his name. Bekoy. All right, we did it. Okay. Beacon. 
of hope. You did it, Sigma. You got through the login. Beacon of hope. How optimistic. Sure, sure. Look at the screen. Sun, sun, moon. Hmm, is this the password for the safe? The safe, right? Those are the ones in the AB lounge. Yeah. This one is embedded in the table where the door locks looks the same. Probably works like the others do too then. We just need a password to open it, right? Alright, sun, sun, moon. You did it! Good work! Humph. Well done. What's with the attitude? Never mind that. Let's just see what's inside. There's a lot of stuff in here. That's good, isn't it? Better than having nothing, at least. Let's go through them one by one. First, we've got... The square cube. A map. It says floor B. The map we found in the lounge said floor A on it. Well, we took the elevator down to get here, so floor A must be the upper floor. Yeah. Let's keep going. There's still a lot in here. In there. There must be... Key cards. They have a picture of the moon on them. This must be what the announcer was talking about then. We got two of them, just like with sun cards. You should take one, Luna. Huh? Why? You're a solo. Alice and I can keep the other one. Oh, of course. Thank you. We're gonna. We're all gonna vote. Um, ally, right? Right? All right. What's next? Looks like a note. Here are some. Here are some more AB game rules for you. I wonder who. Uh, I wonder who wrote this. Not voting is not a option. If both parties refuse to vote, then every bunny gets penalized. In other words, one person out of every color group of three has to vote. So all three of us can't abstain. There has to be at least one vote. Why would there be a rule like that, though? It seems pointless. I thought it said earlier that it was like if, if no one voted, you just automatically ally. That's kind of dumb. Now, now we're changing it to be something different. I think Zero Senior wants us to make sure people are actually playing the game regardless of the situation. What sort of situation are you talking about? Well, it could be anything, really. Whatever. We've only got two th two things left. What's this thing? Oh, is it so no one can just stop them from just staying outside, so you force allies? Hmm, that's interesting. Looks like some sort of plug or key. Oh, that's for, for K. I guess you insert someone in Twist. That's, th that's for sure. Oh, man, we're the lock-picking Sigma male. And you didn't see anything here that could fit into? Even if we did, does it really matter at this point? What? Look in the safe. What's the last thing in there? A key. Is that a key to the exit? Pretty sure we can get out now. This key found the safe. It should open the exit. Okay. Awesome. Let's wait. What should we do about the plug? Um, fine. I guess I'll hold on to it. I doubt we'll need it, but you never know. What do you mean we doubt? Why wouldn't we take it? Okay, let's go. Okay. So I'm guessing that the secret password is like... You do the 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 light the eyes that are off, or you reverse it. That this one you do on the top one, and the other one, you can zoom in. Oh, for fuck's sake! All right, so what what would this be? Let, let's just go through it real quick. So it would be, let's do the zeros. So R, E, M, good band, I, O, I, Rem, Rem, I, O. That, th this could be it. All right, I'm not giving up. All right, so... S C E N Sorry, E N C E Right? Remoy scene scenes? Is this an anagram?
Did I mess it up? Oh, that's an N. It's an N. Not a, not a, not a, um, an O. My bad. Sorry. I got confused. That's an, uh, that's an N. Reminisce. My bad. Sorry. Simple mistake. R-E-M, just in case it's, I, I'm going to spell it wrong. I-N-I, all right, R-E-M, I-N-I, yep. S-C-E, whoops. N-C-E, N-C-E, that's got to be it. Nice, we get it. Completed. Yeah, I suspected as much. Good work, I'm impressed. What's our prize, I wonder? The screen's changed. Okay, this looks different. The symbols have changed and they're all, all in different places. Okay, so star, star, moon, right? Sorry, sun, sun, moon. Completed. Oh, it opened again. I wonder what's inside this time. Okay, so, um, this... This over here, um, not being able to see the drawer because of the 3D perspective um, kind of tripped me up a little bit, but I don't know if that's on me or the game, kind of like not making it clear where you can go. But um, apart from that, I think this might have been my favorite room so far of the two games. I really liked how like there was moving parts in here. Um, there was like a joke with like you get the star thing and then you get this one over here. I liked like looking at the lights and, and putting it over there with the uh, with the thing you found on the wall. That was that was a pretty this this was pretty good. Um, not being able to use anything to get the the anything else to get the oil off of the table was kind of shit. But um, that that was pretty good. I like this. This was this was fun. I'm not really a big fan of like stupid mini games like this, but you know whatever, it's fine. Um, okay, so let's read the file. Right? That's what we do around here, right? Ooh, we're missing it. Whoops. All right, done. We read the file. Hmm. Do I want to read any of this? The more you know. Okay, these are just tutorials, looks like. Okay, cool. Alright. Okay, so there's a little bit of background music here, um, and we're just about to take a break, and I've needed to pee for since the beginning of stream, actually, because I'm an idiot. So let's let's take our break right now, five minutes, and then we are going to uh, continue. So, pre back. Five minutes. Any reason he's not reading the file? Are they spoilers? Yeah, chat told me they're spoilers, and we did a big vote, and the vast majority of people told me not to read them. So I am trusting chat. I want to be clear, though. If I was playing on my own, I would be reading them because I wouldn't know that. So I think that's kind of shit that the game does that. But yeah, anyway, right back.
do 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 how's it going everyone do 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 Why is Ryan Gosling in Dragon's Den? Alright, let's go! The lock for the door. Right now it says lock. You guys ready? I'm gonna open the door. Go ahead. I'm all set. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. All right, what the hell is gonna happen now? Now, Top Governor. What? Luna, did you say that? Was that you, Luna? No. Alice? You honestly think a voice that coarse could come from a throat as fine as this? Okay. Big Lotus vibes. Then... Oh, yeah, that was, uh, that was me, mate. The robot? Oi! Over here! Sigma, look! Look! What is that? Oh, blimey, that hurts. I ain't right for a fellow's back to feel like this. It's uh, it's a ro what the fuck? It's and it's talking with an accent. Uh, can't help it, Flower. Didn't choose to talk like this, not by half. It's fucking Charlie. Now, Alice, darling. Do I rightly recollect you characterizing my speech as coarse? Yeah. Well, that's right, cruel it is. You really think I asked for this? I never asked for this. See, they figured they give us all a, um, a what you call them, a personality. <laughs> Some tosser thought they'd give me this one. It ain't right, I tell you. So we're all robots. Okay, cool. So what the hell are you? Cooper. Ah, oh, close. Charlie Cutter. Charlie Cooper. If you're a barrel maker, I'm an astronaut. Yeah, definitely on Mars. <laughs> right you are, my old son. Right you are. Well, go on. Have a butchers, mate. What do I look like to you? Robot, you say? Oh, nearly there, but they call us golems round here. Golem? Oh, I've heard of golems. They're sort of monsters, I guess, from Jewish folklore. They're made from clay, and they look like men. They're supposed to do whatever their master, or creator, or whatever commands them to do. Okay, accessing the Wikipedia field. I like it. Good, good, good. Well, aren't you a clever bird? You are, of course, correct. The golem of myth. It's a clay creation that moves under its own power. Our spellings are might different, though. The original blokes are spelt G-O-L-E-M. But me and me mates are G-A-U-L-E-M. Okay, why? Artificial user or something? Great! That's an acronym. General Purpose Autonomous Labor Electronic Machine. All right. The truth to tell, it's a bit rubbish when you write it out all like that. But I figured they wanted to make sure they had the Gollum thing in there, you know? What with us being robots and all. Yeah, it's surprising how many serious things end up going for a very childish kind of naming scheme because they had a fun acronym and they just wanted to make it work. 
you know. Time for a fun one. Yeah, okay. Um, so, should I just call you Gollum? No, we call him Cooper. Uh, that don't seem quite kosher. <laughs> After all, all of me mates here are <laughs> Gollums too. <laughs> Actual good line. Holy shit. I couldn't very well call all of you lot human, could I? What should we call you then? Well, we've all got a product ID, and they're unique. I figure that's as good a name as any. And your ID is? GTM-CM-G-OLM. Whoa. That's way too long. We can't remember that. What? You've taken a mickey out of me? Yeah. Never had a problem myself. Right then, let's just use the last bit, shall we? G-O-L-M? So we're just going to call you... Golem instead of Gollum? Gollum. Come on, man. That's just Gollum. Well, I'll be buggered. <laughs> Can't say I ever noticed that before. What? Sure, it's a strange coincidence, isn't it? How are these two girls in the same game in the same series? All right. Gollum, you said Alice Darling a little bit ago, right? A gentleman can't say something nice to a pretty young bird, eh? How'd you know her name? No, I don't care if you call her Darling. What I'm saying is, you called her Alice. How did you know her name? <laughs> oh, she ain't the only one of you lot whose name I know. I know who you are, Sigma, and you too, Luna. Ooh. <laughs> I'm right familiar with all nine of you. All right. How? You don't know. Oh, they got cameras all over this place. Well, then again, the lenses aren't much bigger than a screw. And they're all in the way. So I suppose I can't really blame you for missing them, you know? Okay. Now, as I was saying, there were these cameras, you see. And all of the data they record gets sent off to the mainframe in real time. So, I just gave the main core a ring, got those videos, and now I know everything you've done. What the fuck is happening right now? Does then that mean you're Zero Junior? Cool, blimey. Are you bleeding serious? Oh, you gotta be off your box if you think I'm Young Master Zero. The Young Master is a right proper AI what supervises all the electronic bits and bobs in this place. Okay. My humble self, and knows with a misfortune to be like me, are more akin to computer terminals who are merely borrowing a little bit of the central core. Okay, I'm g I'm still getting some big bunny vibes right now. So golems are kind of like Zero Junior servants. Uh, no, no, not quite, Governor. Not quite. Okay. I'd say me and me mates here are more like uh, arms and legs, right? Now, you lot don't have brains in your arms and legs, do you? Of course not. Eh, I mean, maybe. Right you are, missus. You'd be all sort of nasty if your elbows and that lumpy bit on your ankle was all packed with brains. Okay, are you are you just part of the crew now? Are you here to replace whoever dies in the next room? And you're just like, oh, what, oh, oh, what, oh, blimey, that, that fucking bracelet's for me, right? All right, oh, it's on, all right, coming through. Here comes the replacement fucking part, like, like what, what do you mean? There's just a fucking robo dude is coming along, like. Well, we're like your arms or legs. Did everyone else find one too? The golem seat of consciousness, so to speak, ain't in the head. The fact of the matter is, it's not anywhere in the body. How how the fuck like we just got the key to open K's neck, and instead of that being the next beat, or go and fucking vote and someone dies, a robot sits up on a fucking table and starts talking and like what if we had chose a different route? What happens in the in the other? What the fuck? Which makes a fellow wonder, where is it? In the mainframe. All right. Spot on. So that part of me, what thinks, is in the mainframe. Everything this here body sees and hears and what have you, that all gets sent back there. Did we just get to the top of the roller coaster and this just just all the way down for a bit now? Holy shit! What the fuck is going on? Then the mainframe does some sort of computery jiggery pokery and comes up with some decisions and and those decisions beget commands. Okay. Now those commands are sent over the wireless like boop 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 
and eventually my body <laughs> picks them up. Finally, those commands cause actions what move the various bits in my body. That's why this thing's like a computer terminal, you see. The body's just an output device of sorts. If we were talking about one of them personal computers here, you could say a golem's kind of like a, uh, a monitor, right? Eh? Huh? <gasps> Wireless. Oh, wait a minute. Then wouldn't that make you part of Zero Junior? Oh, I suppose you could say that. What with us sharing a mainframe and all. <laughs> but I don't know shit all about this game he's running. That part of the mainframe's locked away from the rest of us. Convenient. I'm an independent core. Uh, Zero and I are two different blokes. You recollect what Gollum stands for, huh? I'm autonomous. Hmm. That's the case. Your hands and feet analogy doesn't really make sense. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's... But you're the one who told us you're autonomous. No, oh, yeah, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna trust the, this person that they said, oh, I, no, I'm completely separate. Source, I just made it the fuck up. Source me. I am the source. Do Source, do just trust me? Okay. My my arms and legs aren't autonomous. I mean, they could be. My legs get pretty fucking anonymous when I have, like, restless leg syndrome. They don't just move on their own. Uh, you sure, governor? I watched you cross your arms just now. Yeah. Huh? You know, you, you're frowning and your forehead's getting all wrinkly. Okay, that, that, what he just said there, this whole thing, for whatever reason... I think it's the hmm made me think he was thinking this instead of saying it. And I was surprised when he responded. Seriously. Okay, this is really fucking with me. Did you do these things on purpose? Well, when you crossed your arms, were you thinking, right then, let's cross them, shall we? Yeah. Curl on down then, mouth. Oh, and eyebrows. I'd be much obliged if you'd squeeze in a bit. There's a good pair of blokes. That's what you was thinking, isn't it? Yep. No? Didn't reckon so. No, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Yes. Refuses to elaborate. I figured you did all of that subconsciously. Okay, I hope you just lay back down after this and be like, okay, see ya. Are you coming with? No, I'm good. <laughs> Ain't no man on earth who says to himself, feeling a mite nervous, I'll just twitch me leg around a bit, you know? Who's thinking real hard about something and says to themselves, well, I think I'll just give the old loaf a scratch, that'll help. Okay, we, we get the point, dude. How's about when you reach for your tea? Oh my god, we get it, alright? You s are totally British. I, I get it, alright? You like to repeat yourself with multiple examples. You're British. I am too. I get it. When you turn a page in your book. Yeah, I get it. See, I'm doing it too. I get it. Or what about when your eyes just go straight for the pair on that bird you fancy? <laughs> Ooh. Bold of you to assume. And the list goes on, me chums. But all of those things are your subconscious at work. Well, true, when part of your body does something, it's because your brain said so. But that don't mean your conscious mind is involved. <laughs> Fact is, it can't be. If your brain had to deal with all the piddly bits of living, it'd make you bowl me. Yeah, does it make anyone else kind of nervous that your heart beats on your own? You don't get to control, like, the most important part? It's like, damn, man. Damn. That's how us golems and a young master get along. What if it just decides one day, it's just like, you know what, I'm done. You, um, you got it all sorted now, chums? Yep, very sorted. Then you're saying that Zero Junior is the central part of the mainframe, and the golems are like his hands and feet? Righto. Blimey. I guess I shouldn't be talking about such heavy rubbish, eh? My shoulders are all stiff. I don't think so. You're a robot. How can your shoulders get stiff? And you said your back hurt earlier. Me and are Sigma, you just man. Messing with us? Yes, I did. And no, I ain't. Me back is all right, mess it is. Last maintenance check, they just left me here. How long ago was that? Oh, right, I think. According to my data banks, that was about a thousand years ago. I've been on this bed here for years. All right, how many? <sighs> the lubricant for me joints is all gummed up. Every time I move, it hurts. But why did you wake up again after all this time? Because of you. Why do you think, Nav? Because you lot turned me on his wife, especially that other missus over there. Oh, yeah, that button on top of the safe. Right you are, governor. Can you come with us, then? The others need to see this. Huh. No, I can't. And more's a pity. What? I can only go as far as this cable here will let me. 
I've got internal batteries, but they're knackered. A matter of fact, that's why I was here for maintenance in the first place. The yeah, same goes for these other blokes, too. Of course, they ain't connected to a power cable like I am, what? so they aren't going anywhere anytime soon. Why aren't they talking? Are they just ask or it? Cooper will do it for us. I see. So... You aren't going to answer my question? Huh? What question is that? I asked you how your shoulders can get stiff if you're a robot. Right, right, so you did. He just said the lubricant. Not sure why you've got a bug up your ass about that particular issue, though. Well, I mean, I guess it's not really important, but I'm just curious, I suppose. Time limit, by the way. Curious, are you? Oh, that's a good word, that is. A good, powerful word. The kind of word that will set any robot's heart to flutter. Let's get you sorted then, shall we? Just lend me your Lords and Peers for a tick. So, how can a robot get stiff shoulders? And what does pain mean to a robot? Oh my god, it's the Wikipedia robot. Did you know that pain originates in the cerebral cortex? And that you, you transplant that into a robot, but they couldn't do that for robots because we don't have any cerebral cortex in it. No, no flesh up here. So we had to make a simulated version, and that turns out that you can't have a simulated autonomous brain without also bringing the pain along. It's a funny quirk, in it. You have to have the pain. Turns out pain is a core part of life. Here we go. Fucking hell. You ever heard of the Chinese room? All right. Oh god, oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? How did we go from Junei to Golium? What the? Uh, without warning, waiting for an answer, Golem launched into his explanation. All right, pre-recorded. What the fuck is this? Somewhere, a pretty young girl is trapped in a tiny room. How's it going, Haru? The door of the room has a slot that a number of Chinese people outside the room can use to slide slips of paper to the girl. On the pieces of paper are questions written naturally in Chinese. Unfortunately, the young lady has no idea what the questions say. But then, how could she? What the fuck has this got to do with stiff shoulders? She's never learned Chinese, apart from a Hong Kong action movie or two in college. She's never even heard of it. Nice detail, nice flavor. So for this unfortunate young lady, each note looks like nothing more than a bunch of strange symbols. Before she was locked away, she was given an order. Specifically, she was told to write an appropriate response to each question she received and slip that answer back through the slot. Once the Chinese questions began to show up, however, she finds herself at a loss. Oh dear, she says to herself, why I don't can't I can't read these at all. So an appropriate response to all the questions is I don't know. Just write I don't know on all of them and just put them in put them back. That's an appropriate response. Whatever am I to do? Is that is that moment she spots a bookshelf? The bookshelf is filled with thick books, thick. Upon examining them, she discovers that they are some sort of Chinese phrase books. They have no explanation of what anything means, but show Chinese responses to Chinese questions. Am I supposed to use these? The questions keep coming. More and more and more of them. Just just a huge pileup. It's like someone went on vacation and they're just getting all this mail. She finds the set of characters that correspond to the set of characters on the paper and carefully writes out the indicated response. I love forced novel mode. How's it going? It's awful. Please get me out of here. Are you hungry? Yes, I am. I haven't eaten anything since breakfast. Here they give her some twice cooked pork. Ooh. Are you full? Yes, although I don't think my stomach liked it very much. Do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> yes, I'm dating a reggae dancer. <laughs> when was your first kiss? Yesterday, when I was 14. He was a grade ahead of me in school. What color of underwear are you wearing? Black. What's the first thing you're going to do? I'm sorry. Yes, I'm dating a reggae dancer was the stock phrase in the how to answer the do you have a boyfriend question in the book? What? What's the first thing you're going to do when you get out of this room? Burn it the fuck down. Beat the stuffing out of whoever's sending me these questions with the pan with the pan you cooked that twice cooked pork in. Yeah, that's good. Alright. Damn. Haru the early years over here. All of these questions were written in Chinese. And the answers were also written in Chinese. All the young lady did was accurately copy the symbols from the phrase books onto the slips of paper, with no idea what any of it meant. So I have to ask you, do you think that she's communicating? Incidentally, she doesn't have a dancer boyfriend. In fact, she's never really even kissed a boy. Also, she's wearing white underwear. Anyway, Lamayo got him? Um? Yes? It was you. Is there any particular reason this girl is, um, pretty? Or 
Or why we need to know what color underwear she's wearing? Can't say there is. This tickles me fancy, I guess. But the prettier the bird is, the more fun the story is, isn't it? <laughs> it's pretty true. It's pretty true. It's true. Yeah, it's pretty true. It's pretty true. Exactly. What? 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 Models, by the way. Well, what I wanted to say was this. All them Chinese blows outside the room didn't know nothing about them books what she had. So it follows that they would have thought whoever was inside spoke Chinese just like them. You see? After all, far as they can tell, they're having a nice little chin way with one of their countrymen. Okay, why would they do that? Okay, interesting. But what does that have to do with your shoulders or a robot feeling pain? Oh, it doesn't. I just want to tell a fucking story. Get the fuck out of here. You prick. I feel pain when my body's having a spot of bother. Well, hold up, mate. This ain't right. We keep this up and we bug it. If things go really pear-shaped, we'll be brown bread. So says the central computer to itself, seeing that things are a bit bollocksed. Okay, so you can't have a personality without pain. So I was right on. All right, cool. In the interest of extricating my body from as unpleasant predicament, the mainframe sends out a signal over the wireless. And my software interprets that signal as pain. Mm -hmm. And I stopped doing whatever daft thing I was doing. It's the same, isn't it? Just like the Chinese room. So you're saying the robots feel pain differently than humans, right? No, exactly the same. Use your loaf, Missy. You listen to a word I've said. Yeah. A human feels pain when you do something you shouldn't. Like sit your bum down on a tap, right? Same thing for us robots. Exactly. What the, what the hell, Alice? Pay attention. If you feel like being clever about it, there ain't really that much different between a human and a robot. Um, okay. Forget all about that mainframe and signal box. And us golems ain't that different from the bird in the room. So think about it now. How do you know humans ain't the same just without all the electronic y pony, huh? Oh, is that why, uh, what, what you would call it has a. Um, Luna has a, uh, I almost called her Haru, why well, she has a bird in, in a cage there. Okay, so, so we're all robots, or some of us are robots, or half of us are robots, one of us is a robot. It turns out everyone has always been a robot. The, the whole, the whole world is just a robot simulation recreation, like, is, absolutely. When someone asks you a question, all you're doing is pulling out the right answer from some sort of phrase book in your brain. Oh, like the field. It's all about the field. Okay. I ain't no way to prove that, of course, but far as I can see, there ain't no reason to. I mean, it's all the same, isn't it? If you're actually a thinking creature, or if you're just some kind of language processing machine, all what matters is if the person next to you does what a human ought. Looks like a person, acts like a person, and talks like a person, then it's probably a person. You want to live a normal life? That's all you need to know. Hey, can I ask you Lay something? Why'd you stop us? Ah, right you are, mate. Right you are. Bored, didn't it? Got so carried away, I nearly forgot. I haven't seen anyone for yonks, and I got a mighty excited as all. Ugh, just spit it out. Okay, why aren't we asking him questions? He has access to the mainframe. What year is it? Where are we? Do you know anything about what we're doing right now? Do you know, like, like, uh, okay, what, what, what's the weather like outside? You know, just, I'm drawing a blank here. Maybe that's why they did it. Okay, just, just, the, instead, a story about someone who's sitting in a room. Like, let's, let's just ask more questions, please. Right, right. Well, uh, there was something I wanted to tell you lot. What was it? Patience, darling. Now, I know I might look a bit out of sorts in a moment, but I ain't really supposed to. Same thing for the rest of the blokes here. Fact is, the reason we look a bit like skeletons is because we are a bit like skeletons. Oh, you're missing the, the missing the fleshy parts that go over. Okay. There's this special artificial biological tissue, what's called ABT. Ah, AB game. Oh, we're gonna find out. It's a test to see who's the robots and who's not the robot. Oh, and at the end, it turns out you just killed all the robots because the robots always vote betrayal. When a golem's all new and shiny, they've got a nice suit of ABT over that metal skeleton. No, nah, robots would always vote, would always vote ally actually, so we're a robot. Makes us look right human, it does. 
It even feels like real skin, with pores, a little bit of hair, and a few pimples, scars, and the like. <laughs> Truth to tell, I doubt you'd be able to tell the real from the fake, even if it was right in front of you. Okay, Clover's a robot for sure. See, right in the middle. It's one hundred percent Clover's a robot. Command violation. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Funny to see right, see right in the middle. What was he gonna say? Right in the middle of what? Rogue processes detected. Oh, uh, oh. Product ID G T M C M G O L M. <laughs> Executing emergency deactivation. Okay, quickly finish, finish the thought, finish. No. Waifu, no! Unit G T M C M G O L M now inactive. Unit got him? No other rogue processes detected in additional Gollum platforms. I will remember you. Returning to surveillance mode. First time from chat, F. Pretty good first time from chat. That's a good start. Did, did Zero just shut him down? It looks like it. Damn it. Wonder what he was trying to tell us. Hmm. See, right in the middle of... <laughs> right in the mid of what? In the middle. Oh, that's why. That's why her boobs are permanently stuck together because they're not real. It wasn't done properly. That makes sense. An ambidex gate has been opened. Okay, so top top two robot candidates right now are uh, Clover and Luna for sure. Forty five minutes remain until ambidex game polling closes. All right. Someone on the other team what must the hell? have opened it. My God. <laughs> Shit! Why would they do that? We have to hurry. Right. Let's go. Oh boy. This is just an experiment to see if robots and AI can also uh, access the morphogenic field. We f it turns out that Moore's Law isn't actually Moore's Law, and we, no one was making uh, the transistors smaller. It's just that they were just getting smarter, because as transistors were learning more, they just knew more and more forever. And it's just the computers are just getting better and better on their own, and it's got nothing to do with that. Did you know that all the computers couldn't multiply until one computer figured out how to do it? And now all of a sudden they can multiply. So this is just an experiment to see if, if we could do that with robots. And, and androids and oh we can all right cool and we pushed through the magenta door and ran to the warehouse but we have to do it in this fucked up killing game again for reasons there, there stood phi dio and k hey what the hell guys why did you open the ab gate before everyone got back we didn't who are you again i apologize we only turned away for a moment dio opened it <laughs> you got a problem with that of course we do. Okay, are there two Dio's? Like, what's going on? Sometimes you're reasonable, sometimes you're not. Very, very human. Not a robot for sure. Why? I don't remember us all promising we wouldn't open the thing until everyone showed up. Yeah. You know, what if someone was having trouble in the escape room? This isn't about promises. Are you stupid or just an asshole? Probably both. Yeah, probably both. We yep. were able to get back here in time, but what about the others? And Miyoji, Quark, and Clover are still out there somewhere. What were you planning to do if they didn't get back in time? Nothing. Why would I have to do anything? 
Didn't you hear the voice? Anybody who doesn't get back in time to vote just gets their vote automatically set to ally. Ah, is he trying to make it so everyone has to ally? No, there are extra rules, dumbass. Pretty straightforward to me. So you're acting on in a game that they didn't tell you the rules. Wow, what a wonderful game that we're playing. So what if they don't get back in time? They'll all get set to ally and all three of them will get 2 BP. Sounds like a sweet deal to me. 2 BP? Ten Miyoji's only got 1 BP. I figure he'll be pretty happy to get two more. Okay, Dio is secretly a very nice person. All right, cool. So Quark is evil for sure. And that'll put Quark and Clover up close to nine. So that's not too bad for them either. In other words, they ought to be thanking me. Um, didn't you guys find a note? What? What's this? I didn't read this. We found it in our safe. Read Here it. Here are some more AB game rules for you. Not voting is not an option. <laughs> if both parties refuse to vote, then every bunny gets penalized. In other words, one person out of every color group of three has to vote. What the hell, man? Oh no! This in our room. Oh, oh, miscalculated. Oh, oh no! Back me up here, guys. He's right. There was no such note in our safe. Hmm. Oh, well, damn. That's a bummer. <laughs> I'd never have opened the gate if I'd known about this. Whoopsie doopsie. Really? Of course. I believe him. I'm worried about the others. If time runs out, they'll... They'll be penalized. Yes. I know. Quark is part of that team. Maybe something happened with him. He seemed a little off before we headed into the chromatic doors. This is bad. This is bad. Oh, well, we can't go in and interfere, so we just have to wait. Hey, wait a minute. Where's Alice? She was here just a minute ago. Where's the mummy? Oh, okay. It took me only a moment to spot her. She was several yards away, kneeling down to look at something on the floor. What was she looking at? I couldn't tell. I was about to head over to see what was going on when... Oh, they came in, so we just never asked her about it. Okay, cool. All right. Oh, this is so frustrating. Oh, okay, this, this series is so interesting for how great it can be sometimes with characters actually acting well and... and asking proper questions and everything and and setting up some pretty good mysteries and everything and then it can be so shit in the next scene which like oh yeah you asked me a question but someone walked in so i didn't answer it and we never asked him again even though we had plenty of time while we were walking through all the fucking map screens and going through all the doors and oh no, no, no alice what were you doing what do you mean what i was doing he he mind your own business fucking how you mate like a, oh man the difference okay are we all panting why do you keep smiling robot whoa hey guys Quark. Okay, does she blink? <gasps> do you? <gasps> do I? Has Quark been here? Did something happen to him? You guys killed Quark. He disappeared. Disappeared? What do you mean? Not again. <laughs> He's gone. We can't find him anywhere. <laughs> All right, where's the exploded Quark bits? <laughs> when was the last time you saw him? <laughs> We were heading back here. Ten Miyoji and I went into the lounge, and Quark didn't follow us. We turned around and started calling for him, but... When he didn't respond, we ran back the way we'd come. And you couldn't find him? Right. We thought maybe he just hadn't seen us go into the lounge. So we checked the crew quarters and the infirmary. But he wasn't there either. And you're happy about that. Okay. All right. We need to split up. Do we though? Who cares? Just vote ally. Who gives a shit? If we can't find him in any of the floor A rooms, we'll move to floor B. He's fine. Just go in the rooms. Okay. Is he trying to make it so no one else vote? Oh man. Is that what he's trying to do? Everyone else dies and then he wins? Victory goes to Quark. What was the name of the of the the the, the psycho um, android that you find in one of the first scenes in um, Beyond Human, where 
and you go stay with them in the in in the in the abandoned building. Ralph, it was Ralph. Yeah, Ralph. Ralph. Ralph has wares. If you have coin, Kara, <laughs> it's all it all comes down to Ralph. <laughs> Go into hotel. <laughs> Ralph breaks in. <laughs> it's all Ralph. Oh man, I know I quote saying Quark like that made me think of Ralph. I need to tell. <laughs> right, you do that. Why? Okay, this is a huge bamboozle right now. Some, something's going very wrong in that room. Hey, Quark. Quark. But the future refused to change. Maybe we're on a spaceship. Or a replica spaceship. The replica is Starship Titanic. He's not here. I checked both He's rooms. Not the other two either. Okay. There's no one here. Temyoji and Kay are in the lounge, and Dio and Luna should be checking the infirmary. Right. Okay. Let's leave that to them and head to floor B. Why are we teamed up again? I don't give a shit about you, Fido. Now, if you are Phyto, then okay. Now we're cooking. Okay, so what are Clover and Alice doing right now? Just some robot things? They're setting up a whole fake room or something? Like, what's going on? You went through the red door, Dio and Kay, yeah. right? So? Yeah. So? What was on the other side of that door? You want to see it? Yeah. Yeah. I do. Maybe Quark went there. Fine. Follow me. Maybe Quark is fixing the robot. Haven't done this in a while. Pantry. Uh oh. This is the pantry. Pantry. That drawer over there is stuffed with processed food. Okay. This. Yeah. Okay. More and more space vibes. Wasn't that bad, actually. Oh, you ate something. You ate it. Yeah. It was some paella. Nase Goring, Schnitzel, Yuke Jung, Borscht, and Tom Kagai. Okay, I don't know any of these words. Oh, and I ate the chef's pasta too. That's a lot of food. Can't help it. I'm a growing girl. Okay. How old are you? Twenty, I think. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just just stop. I don't even know where to start here. One. By the time you hit twenty, you're done growing. Two, you think? You should be old enough to know how old you are. Three, how on earth are you 20? You look like you're 13 if you're a dead. <laughs> Wait, what? I can't believe you're only two years younger than me. <laughs> now that's funny. You must have done a lot of drugs to look like that at 22. Oh, give me a break, you little pup. Wait. Do we... She called us grandpa. Do we not look like we think we look like? We've seen reflective surfaces, though. Like, we held the fucking bottle in our hand. Like, screens and shit. Like, 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 come on. Don't call me little. I'm an adult, you dried up asshole. <laughs> I'm an adult. <laughs> Fine, whatever. So this place is enough food to keep people alive for a few years, huh? <laughs> Looks like this stuff is going to expire anytime soon. Yeah, the use-by date is about a hundred years from now. Okay, what is that? How about water? There's a tank over there. It looks like they're pulling it out of some kind of well. Is it safe? Well, since Dio isn't rolling around on the floor in agonizing pain, I'm gonna go ahead and assume it's okay. 
You made him drink to, to make sure it was safe? I guess you could say that. Ooh. So you ate all the food without a second thought, but the water struck you as possibly as possibly dangerous? No, I was careful with the food, too. Dio had some of it first, and it seemed fine, so I... Oh, I almost forgot. What? I ate something else! Um... Is this important? Twice cooked pork! <gasps> oh, for God's sake. Why the hell are you shouting about that? Wait a minute. Twice cooked pork? That's what I was in the story! What is it? Well, it's just reminding me of something. Reminded you of what? Yeah, we found a robot and we had a long conversation with it. Didn't mention it until now because I'm an anime character. This might seem hard to believe it. <sighs> Bullshit. Bullshit. Oh, come on. At least let me tell you first. All right. I explained how we found a room called the Gollum Bay on the other side of the green door and how we'd met a robot there named Gollum who told a very interesting story about a girl who ate twice cooked pork. Yeah, bullshit. I see. So the Gollum guy was turned off just when he was about to tell you something. Yeah. So the last thing he said was, see you right in the middle of... Right in the middle. Middle could be for Middle Kingdom, which is another name for China. Well, this was utterly pointless. Yeah. <laughs> Why did you go there? I think, so. I think so. Please explain. Well, maybe he was trying to say that this game is like the Chinese room. In other words, Sigma, Fi, there you are. I've been looking all over for you. Quark's dead. What's going on? Something bad. Something really bad. Well, come on, spill it. Alice, Alice is. Just come with me. She's in the crew quarters. But a bit of bomb, but on, but on, bomb, bomb. I'm coming. Here we go. But a bit of bomb, but on, but on, bomb, bomb. But a bit of bomb, but on, but on, bomb, bomb. But a bit of bomb, but on, but on, bomb, bomb. As fast as I can. But a bit of. How did she get here? Okay, this is the exact, almost the exact same pose that, that Lotus had, right? What's going on here? I'm getting some big Metal Gear Solid 2 vibes. What? No, this isn't real. Oh, no. All I could hear were Zero's words echoing in my ears. To remove the bracelet, there are two ways. Your heart stops, your bracelet comes off. If you've never been in turbulence, if you've never been in turbulence, it's hard to explain. What? You feel the sudden alien weightlessness of a long fall, and for just a moment, you're painfully aware of the fact that you are thousands of feet above the earth in a flimsy machine made by fallible men kept aloft by a scientific principle that nobody actually understands. I've heard of this actually, yeah. If you've never seen a, f a friend dead, it's hard to explain, but it's a little like that. I knelt down beside Alice's body and pressed a shaking hand to her throat. No pulse. Her skin had already turned pale. The thing in front of me looked like a human being, but it wasn't being a human any longer. <laughs> Holy shit! Watch you through the window as you leave. That's I guess that's why they call it window pane. Oh my god, that's terrible. Okay, why had this happened? I knelt there for several long moments, staring blankly ahead. My throat burned and my chest was tight, but I forced myself to take three progressively calmer breaths. <laughs> then stood. What is this writing? I clenched my fist, took one last breath, and turned. I was expelled because of you. Who found her first? Me. I was looking for Quark on floor B and couldn't find him. 
So I came back here and, well, you know the rest. Hey, what's that look supposed to mean? You better not be thinking I did it. No, you didn't. Well, suspicion often falls on the first to discover a crime. Mm-hmm. Hey, fuck that. She'd already been murdered when I got here. How do you know she was murdered? I believe you, Dia. What do you mean, how do you know she was murdered, Fi? What? Come on, it's obvious. She's got a knife sticking out of her chest. Does that look like an accident or a suicide to you? How do you know the weapon was a knife? Because... Because we can see it. What? All you can see from here is the handle. Yeah, and he's just assuming it's a knife because it looks like a knife. Fi, you're dumb. For all you know, it could have been an ice pick or some kind of tool. Yeah, you're you you're like a, 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 a dumb person who's trying to act like they think smart people are. Trust me, I know. Like, like what the hell, Fi? Well, well yeah, I guess that's true. But... How do you even know it's Alice? Did you take a genetic sample to confirm that it's her? Maybe it's a clone. How do you how do you know that she's even dead? Maybe she's gonna come back to life in a second. How do you know that we're even real? I mean. Come on, who wouldn't look at that and assume it's a knife? And it's not fair to suspect someone just because they happen to be the first one to find the body. I agree. If you want to be like that, then the last person to see Alice is the person you should be looking at. Who was the last person to see her? It was, it was Alice. I need to go tell Alice. You guys go on ahead. Yeah, Clover sus for sure. Alice, why? <laughs> Why did you make me kill you, Alice? This wasn't supposed to happen. You promised me we'd catch them together. Don't do this. Together! <laughs> Clover. I can't trust them anymore. It could have been any one of them. They killed you, Alice. Not again. I can't forgive them for that. I'm going to get revenge. Where's the stick? I'll find out who killed you. And I'll... I'll... <laughs> Hey, Clover. Shut up! Don't you talk to me! Alright. I'm sorry, Alice. Her voice shook as she spoke. Before anyone could say anything, she turned and ran out of the room. I mean, her voice wasn't shaking, though. Wait! Clover, come back! Tenmyoji took off in pursuit, and I made the follow when. It's pointless. Pointless? Even if you caught up to her. She'd never tell you anything. Okay, Alice is the one that had the thing that opens your neck. So can we, can we, is, is that missing? Think it through. There are two possibilities. Either Clover killed her, or she didn't. <laughs> that, yeah, that's, that's very true. Yeah. <laughs> that, 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 is, that is very true. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> can't, can't argue with that, Kay. If the former is true, <laughs> then I doubt she would confess. <laughs> if the latter is true, then I imagine she'll be just as reticent. After all, Alice and Clover seem to know each other. In fact, they seem quite close. It seems safe to assume that Clover is currently very suspicious of all of us. I doubt she would open up to anyone right now. You seem pretty calm. Did you do it? Not again. <laughs> God, I, I hope so, so much at stake now. Oh my god, please, not again. Well, if you really want to suspect me, please go ahead. <laughs> I'm beginning to feel rather accustomed to it. Yeah, you're always so fucking reasonable. I would ask you to consider my motive for killing Alice. Okay, it is. It, it, the fact that I have none. It's, it's definitely him. Well, yes, but none of us do. None of us have ever met Alice before, right? So why would we want to kill her? Yeah, it's good. Oh man, best girl. You are correct. But only if the murder had a motive beyond, well, murder. <laughs> what do you mean? Do you remember when we found the old woman? It seemed clear that her killer was Zero Senior and that they were one of us. There is every reason to think the same person murdered Alice. Perhaps this person plans to kill us one by one. Perhaps the entire nonary game is just window dressing. Perhaps the only reason we are here is so that Zero Senior can kill us at his leisure. Yeah, that's a complete a world of his own creation. It's a complete horseshit. Why would anyone do such a horrible thing? 
It's it's the, the you're an addict, and I'm gonna here, here's your chance to uh, to to go through detox saw example, and then open a panel, shoot you. <laughs> like like no, like no. Presumably, because <laughs> they enjoy killing. Okay. Zero senior seems to be rather disturbed. <sighs> Hold on a minute. That doesn't mean they're one of us. There could be a tenth person hiding somewhere. Oh, the tenth person. Watch out. No. What do you mean? We just met a tenth person. The robot. Well, why not? There's no way Zero Junior wouldn't notice that. And if he did notice, I really don't think he'd just let something like that slide. What do you mean? It isn't the argument that it actually is still Zero in here somehow as a tenth person? Like, it could be that Zero is killing us but not part of the game? Like, it could be that. Uh, whatever. But isn't Zero Junior just an AI without a body? What could he do? Maybe. But Zero Senior has a body. You think they'd really just let a tenth unwanted participant just run around murdering people? Yes. Well, what if the tenth person is you? Yeah, 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 me and Sigma, man. S Sigma wavelength. Not possible. What do you mean, not possible? Why not? At least not so long as we assume Zero Junior's statement to be the truth. Okay, yeah, and we, we can't trust that at all. We've had multiple updated rules, multiple, like, actually, I wasn't 100% honest with you, tee -hee. Like, are you an idiot? Do you remember? No, yeah, I'm sure we're gonna see gray screen. And... He made it quite clear that the real Zero was one of us. Okay, here we go. I thought about what Kay had said. If the killer was Zero Senior, then who could be the killer? Are we gonna see everyone? Dio? Luna? Kay, perhaps? Or maybe Clover? There was always Temmie OG. <laughs> Phi, maybe? No, it couldn't be her. I had been with Phi the whole time. We were looking for Quark. There was no way she could have slipped away to stab Alice in the chest. Unless she poisoned me and I blacked out. Wait a minute. There was one person I'd forgotten. Quark. It seemed like a bit of a stretch to think a kid could kill someone of Alice's size, though. That meant there were five real suspects. Dio, Luna, K, Clover, and Ten Miyoji. Hmm. Where had Quark gone? Ten minutes remain. Until Ambidex game polling closes. Yeah, but what you didn't know was that when we came into this area earlier with 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 Fi, she set up a knife launcher made out of ice. And as soon as Alice came into the room, she there was a sign that said Alice, look, and she turned, and then the ice launcher shot the knife into her chest, and then she died. And as she died, because she's the mummy, the the ice melted around her really quickly. And, and that's how she died. And Phi just didn't tell us that. And also our character didn't tell us that he saw her doing it. And he's like, oh, I don't know. That's not important. I don't need to tell tell the player that information. I see her making this ice sculpture. So that, that, is, that is definitely what happened. Also, at the end of it, he put down his backpack, went over to the vent, took out his shot put ball. Ten minutes remain. Okay, let's go. Okay, so, I mean, we just, we just vote betray then, right? Because she's dead. So we just get some free points. If no vote is recorded before the deadline has passed, any non-voting parties will automatically ally. Apparently Zero doesn't feel like this is worth stopping the game for. A blunt but effective way to make the point. Okay, can we take the bracelet? What do you mean? We should get to the warehouse. It seems clear he feels no compunction about killing us, should we disobey the rules. As such, I recommend we follow them. The others filed out of the room. I turn to face Alice. Alice, I'll find out who did this to you. I promise. I felt my stomach settle back into its normal configuration. <laughs> I knelt down and pulled my socks up so my feet were comfortable, and then I put my feet flat on the floor. I was fine now. My stomach is right in its normal configuration. The fire in my chest had melted and melted the icy hand from my spine. Ooh. I stood up straight, gave Alice one last nod, 
solemn turn to waffles and i walked after the others leaving my regrets lying on the cold floor and also the bracelet take the bracelet take the bracelet no okay Oh no, we have to go back to the bracelet. What the fuck? It's gone. And then Quark shows up. Mwah! Hey, I have two now. The gates are closed already. Uh-oh. Probably ten Miyoji and Clover. Wasn't he a pair? Doesn't Quark need to go with him? As long as one person in each pair is there, it should be okay. Sharing their destiny, huh? Pretty much. That's good news for you, Sigma. Do you think there's an Ahago underneath this hat? After all, you're a pair, but... Your partner is, well, I'd rather not say it. Oh yeah, we were partnered with Alice. Okay, so it's, it's I have to vote and Luna has to vote. Okay, so we're voting ally for sure. L Luna, there's no way. Luna, sweet girl, waifu, is Rise through the morphogenetic field for sure, ally. No way she'd vote betray, yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. Good luck for you, huh, Luna? What? I don't understand what you mean. Well, if Alice was still alive, you'd have a hard time choosing Betray. She only had one BP left. If you'd picked Betray, you could have killed her. Yeah, and that's why you killed her, Luna, so you wouldn't have to make this hard decision in there. Uh, that's a motive. She didn't want to kill Luna in the game, so she killed her ahead of time. Oh, man. P Luna pretty course, sus. That's not really a problem now. Yeah, really suspicious. Stop that, Dio. Are you a, are you implying that I kill? I <laughs> chose an ally regardless. But now. I mean, Sigma's going to be my opponent. Ooh. And I, I trust him. Really? Well, you're an idiot. <laughs> oh, this is interesting. <laughs> when you guys picks betray, we are gonna get a show. <laughs> oh, I wanna see. Dio. Oh, I wanna see. Ignore him. How do you and Fi plan to vote? Gonna go over to the, to the garbage can, pull out the popcorn, go over. It's a show. Here I go. Munch, munch, munch. Here's the show. You even gotta ask? Ally. Of course. Right, Fi? I don't know about that. Ooh. It's a difficult question. What? Well, if we choose Ally and Kay chooses the opposite, then he'll have nine points. He can go through the number nine door whenever he wants. But it's not as simple as just choosing Betray either. We can go with him. If Kay decides to ally for some reason, then you'd end up with nine points. So we should both choose ally. Seems easy to me. You're planning on betraying me, aren't you, dear? <laughs> as soon as you go through that door, it will be only the two of you in that room. <laughs> I've no doubt you could overpower Fi. If you had the desire to. No. Whoa, what the hell, Kay? Oh, give me a little credit. No one has more gentle points than me. You think someone of my stature would resort to violence? <laughs> the nerve. This is best boy. Um, what? This is just a thought, but why don't all of you promise to choose Betray? Then you wouldn't have to worry about anything. If you knew the other person was going to betray you, You'd have no choice but to do the same. That seems pretty... negative for you, Luna. I'm sorry. Nothing to apologize for. We appreciate your suggestion and we'll take it into consideration. Wow, that's like... anime plight for fuck off, alright. But unfortunately, I don't think it's a very good idea. Yep, there we go, alright. See, my goal is to beat this game. Ooh. But, fine. Maybe that wasn't the best way to put it. When I say I want to beat it, I mean defeat it. Completely. I want to get us all out of here. Well, you're not getting Alice out of here. Or Quark. Or Gollum. Or the food you ate. We haven't beat the Nonary game until we're all out of this place. Okay. I guess we won't all be getting out anymore, though. Yeah, Alice is dead. Yeah, we know. No. Or the I old mean, lady. Alice. Yeah. Yeah. At any rate, all of us choosing Betray every time is hardly ideal. We'd never escape. Then what are you going to do? Hmm. Kay needs to choose Ally. It's the only way. How will you make sure I do that? I have no guarantee that she'll choose Ally as well. 
Would you do it if I could give you that guarantee? He's absolutely gonna vote betray. Well... Coggers. Yes, I suppose so. You promise? Okay, and the guarantee is gonna be I'm gonna stay out of the room. Right? Yes. Good. Let's do this. Right? Deal. That's the guarantee. Huh? There's someone behind you. What? The moment Dio turned his head, Fi was off. With seemingly superhuman strength, she leapt through the air, across the room, and through the AB gate. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, all right. Cool. What the fuck? You bitch! God damn it, Fi! Open this fucking door! Okay, what if you went through another one now? He pounded on the door, screaming, but it showed no signs of opening again. Fuck! He gave the door one last slam for good measure, then ran to the next open one. Oh, we're gonna find out. Invalid pair detected. Please retry with valid partner. Members of a pair cannot vote in separate rooms. What? Oh man, what if we get that error when we go in right now? Why the fuck not? This is against the rules. How am I supposed to vote? This is bullshit. I see. This is how Fi can guarantee her choice. Dio can't vote now, so the chance that Fi will choose Ally just went way up. Could someone have voted ahead of time? Did did Alice already go in and vote? Can you vote and then no you can't do that. Never mind. That's not something you can do. After all, you pick Ally and she betrays you. That would be awkward to go out and tell Luna. I'm sorry, Luna, she already picked Betray. Like, it wasn't me, I swear. Dio will have nine points. Exactly. Maybe I should do that and pass it off as that. But exactly. Don't you think Fi might be worried that Kay will break his promise? Hey, Lily Bell, thank you. After all, if he can be pretty sure that Fi is going to choose Ally, then. You needn't worry. Her plan is very clever. I will definitely choose ally. Hmm. Okay. Two minutes remain until polling closes. We don't have much time left. Let's go. Okay. Um, Sigma? If I was in Kay's place, I would choose Betray. Hmm? You are going to choose Ally, right? Yeah, of course. Of course, I chose it last time too. We both have 5 BP right now. Even if I did betray you, I'd only get 3 points. That's not enough to escape. So I'd have to wait until the next round anyway. Oh, is that the only reason? It sure is, classmate. Makes sense? Oh, I see. Huh? Nothing. Never mind. Yeah, we're in. Anyway, you promised. You have to choose Ally. Right, I will. God, I hope she betrays us. I would be so stunned if she did. That would be so entertaining. The Ambidex game will now begin. To enter your vote, press touch the start button on your screen, which you've entered. Thirty seconds remain until polling closes. Do 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 do. Now what am I going to do? Well, I guess there isn't really any question. After all, I promised Luna that I'd pick Ally. But, what if she was lying to me? I would have chosen Ally regardless. I mean... Wait, regardless? Sigma's going to be my opponent. And I... I trust him. Aww. Ten seconds remain. Until Ambidex game polling closes. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so it's pretty clear that I was gonna vote ally, and I made it really, really clear I was gonna vote ally, and that means that a lot of you probably picked ally in the poll because you thought it was such a sure thing and I would like you to know that that was a classic B for bamboozle that was set up 
because it was obvious that people would think that it's actually Betray that I would go with, and they would choose that, thinking that of course I'm going to bait it, because I know that people are voting. Which means that I would actually choose Ally. Round two of the Ambidex game has been completed. Results will be displayed in the warehouse. Thank you for your participation. Hmm, this is very polite. Ambidex gates now opening. Any plans to, to play non Wii games? No. In round two of the Ambidex game will now be displayed. What if you save scum? Could you save scum and just go back if someone betrays you? I wonder if anyone ever betrays you. Is it always ally? Hmm. Please direct your attention to the results screen. Where's the bunny? Do 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 do. Ooh. Does Alice get points? Oh, Alice still gets points. Ten Miyoji and Quark. So that means Ten Miyoji just betray wait, is Quark in there? What the hell, Ten Miyoji? Is is Quark <laughs> Ten Miyoji's gonna come out and say no, it's Quark. Quark Quark made me do it. <laughs> oh man. Oh man, is Tamioji gonna come out and be angry at Clover for voting ally? Like, why did you vote ally? Just vote betray. It was obvious I was gonna vote betray because I could have died if I hit ally. Oh man. So Quark can leave. Is that why he did it? Quark can leave now. I am shocked that Phi actually really did vote ally. Shocked, I say. Okay, so we only need one more ally and we can get out of here. So if we get paired with Luna again, there's no reason for her to ever vote Betray because we can just vote ally and we can both leave, which is the perfect reason for us to betray her. And then she's like, why? Why? And we'd be like, it's not enough that I succeed. It's not enough. Sigmano. It's not enough. All right, interesting, interesting. Okay, I'm surprised there's so many allies here. Points have been assigned or subtracted accordingly. Please check your bracelet to see your updated bracelet points. Thank you, Sigma. Senpai? No need to thank me. I just did what I promised I'd do. Anyway, thank you too. It's nothing. Oh. Okay, I'm reloading and betraying. <laughs> I also just did what I promised to do. Now we both have seven BP. This is the home stretch. Yes, it is. I hope we'll get the pair up the next round too. Because I'll choose ally. Um, no, because then I get to hang out with you more. Sigma, please. Please. Yeah, you're an opponent I can trust. If we were partners, you could pick whatever you wanted then, couldn't you? I mean, you'd get nine points either way. Ooh. Whoa, hold on there. Why would I suddenly choose Betray? I've already chosen Ally twice. Right. So let's choose Ally and get the hell out of here. Together. <laughs> Sound good? Okay. Because you're my game mate. Great nonary game mate. Come on, why do you look so sad? Well, it's just, there's a part of me that just can't feel genuinely happy about that. Because Alice is dead? Oh, you mean... <laughs> why are you flirting with me then? What the hell? Oh. Uh... Yes. 
Oh wait, I'm a Sigma male. Sigma males have the opposite of what most men have. Most men have no idea when a woman is flirting with them. So Sigma males always think that a woman is flirting with them. My bad, sorry. Sorry, okay. Still haven't found Quark either, huh? That too. <laughs> Still, Quark's BT BP is nine now. He's gone, technically, he's one. Why did you do that? Why did you tell me all that stuff for? Were you just lying? No. Everything I told you was the truth. You have to trust me. I did! Look where it got me! How could you do that? You're such a jerk! Wait, hold on. So, are you saying I told you the truth, but when I voted betray, <laughs> like, just let my O just ignore that part? What What do you do? What's the, the end game here, Ten? What the fuck? How can I betray you after that? And then you, you. Okay, so you told her that it was your wife that was killed, and you're sad. And okay, that's what happened. I'm sorry. I had to do it so Quark would have nine points, even though he's missing. Are you zero? What? No, of course I'm not zero. Then how could you know all that? Where did you find out about that stuff? Can you let us know? Can we be in on it? Share with the rest of the class, please. I told you, I. Don't lie to me! I'm not lying. Forget it. It was stupid to trust you. I mean, there's no way. Clover, this isn't about me. I... I made a mistake. I got someone involved on all this when I shouldn't have. I... You mean Quark? Yeah. You did this to get Quark's BP up to nine? Yes. But you've only got four points. I'm not important. The only thing that matters is that Quark gets out of this nightmare. Hey, where do you think you're going? To find Quark. You can leave. Isn't it obvious? Isn't that obvious? I'm going to look for Quark. Hey, wait! Temiyoji didn't respond, just turned and walked off toward the magenta door. Clover started to follow, then pulled up short. Oh. She spun on her heel and headed off toward the cyan door instead. What just happened? I thought Clover had said she didn't trust any of us anymore. Yeah, I know. But then she chooses ally. Temyoji must have said something to her before the last round started, but what? What, what the hell was Alice doing when she was tying her shoes in the corner there? What, what, what was that? Come to think of it, didn't you choose ally too? Yes, I did. Phi put herself in a situation where choosing betray would be unwise. If she had chosen Betray, Dio would have 9 BP now. I concluded that her desire to avoid that outcome would be stronger than her desire to protect herself with Betray. Wait, what? So, I voted accordingly. What, what, why does that matter? That was her guarantee? Yes. Then why didn't you choose Betray? You could be walking out of here with 9 points right now. It's because you promised, right? <laughs> Yes, that too, I suppose. There was another yes. reason? What was it? It's difficult to explain. I suppose you could say I felt a connection. Oh, emotions, morals. Okay, cool. Is this, is this what is known as ethics? What do you mean by that? Well, when we were investigating the pantry together, I felt that Phi was somehow similar to me. Something in me said, don't betray her. Oh, because you're both robots? You could call it intuition, I suppose. Ooh. Cut it out. That did not match that animation. Gut feelings are bullshit. You knew I was named Sigma, though. You have gut feelings. Phi. Besides... You don't get to have a connection with me unless I give you permission. And I don't remember doing that. Okay, this is just a trash fire character. You're acting like we're pals or something. It's honestly unbelievable how bad this character is. Kinda skeeves me out, to be honest.
almost as bad. And I and I understand that this community will understand where I'm coming from and will immediately resonate with the strength of this statement, okay? Because because you're all there with me. We, we demonstrated that yesterday. This character is almost as bad as Hatsune Miku. And I, and I know those are bold words, okay? I know how low we all consider her to be, all right? But, you mean, I, it's that's where she's at, okay? It's, it's the same kind of area, all right? I, I know that you all understand where I'm coming from. What the hell, man? He did you a favor and now you're gonna give him shit for it? Humph. You chose ally too. Is this what is known as Sundari? Didn't you do that because you trusted him? Not exactly. I just made him trust me. <laughs> what? When we were in the pantry, I stuffed my face like an idiot. What? That got him to lower his guard. What? Did you really think that would be enough to convince it? What? And then you vote ally? Like, well, then vote betray? Like, I mean, if you were wrong, then he could have escaped and left what you behind. Are you at? Well. I'm just thinking that maybe you felt some kind of connection to him, too. Oh, come on. Okay, but her voting ally is the only way she could prevent anyone from getting the nine, right? Why doesn't she want anyone to leave? Like, that door can be used more than once, can it? Can't we all leave over multiple stages? I'm not even sure if it's clear if, if one person can open the door if everyone can go through. How am I supposed to feel a connection for a guy whose face I haven't even seen? I don't remember. I don't remember um, the bunny saying that can only open once. I'm not. I'm not disagreeing. I'm just saying I don't remember. Joe, pay attention. The rules have been convoluted as fuck, and we're on hour over seven. Okay, I'm sorry. I can't remember every single fucking little detail. I can't remember the bunny saying it. Oh come on! How am I supposed to feel connection for a guy whose face I haven't even seen? You tell me. Shut up. Um, if we could, uh, change the subject, where did Dio go? Joe, they explain this, so you complain about the long explanation? I complain about the long explanation, about how they're bogging down the rules, so, cause exactly like this shit. All the little nitty greedy get, gets in the way of the actual, like, oh, that's actually important. I straight up, like, I don't even remember it even being fucking hinted at that that door only opens once. Yeah, that's a good question. He must have been here for the results. Oh, I saw him leave. He checked the results and then left through the yellow door. So where did he go? Suddenly, the warehouse was filled with the groan and clang of metal doors grinding shut. Oh, time for the numbers to change, right? The object's gates have closed. Round three of the Ambidex game will be the star round. Star keys are required to open the gates. Is this the last round? Because it's been... Mm, maybe there's another one after it, okay. There is no set limit on usage of the star keys. Oh! The Ambidex gates can be opened as many times as the players wish to open them. Oh, so there's no reason not to vote ally then. Let's just vote ally forever. Why would we why would we fuck around and find out? Like you'd have to be an absolute fucking psychopath to not vote. Like if anyone ever votes betray, as soon as you walk out, just fucking kill them. Like seriously, just fucking kill them. Like w w like you're not playing by the rules. Let's let's just go, you know? Like why would you ever As many times as we want, huh? Then that means As long as you have the star keys, you can play the AB game as many times as you want. Yeah. You probably won't be allowed to play it continuously, however. What do you mean? There's a period of time between when the doors open and when the polling ends. Okay, that doesn't matter. Based off the last two rounds? Based? I think it's about 45 minutes long. So you can repeat the game once every 45 minutes or so. Oh, that's right. Okay, this kind of makes the first two rounds of voting null and void, doesn't it? Oh well. 
What? Remember what Zero Junior said? As soon as the gates close, your colors get all shuffled up automatically. The pair and solo assignments hop around a bit too. <laughs> oh yeah. What are your bracelets, guys? Looks like I'm magenta pair. Me too. Oh, of course, yeah. Looks like we're pairing up again. All right. When is it gonna say trio? Better than getting stuck with Dio, I guess. <sighs> Dio for trio? Hey, what's that supposed to mean? I'm a yellow pair. What about you, Luna? I'm a solo, but I'm green. Wait, green? Yes. Hold on a minute. Weren't the colors for the first game red, green, and blue? And we use those colors to open the magenta, yellow, and scion doors, right? Yes, that's right. Then the next round we had magenta, yellow, and cyan bracelets. And opened the red, green, and blue doors. Waifu, no! Yes. yes. But this time we've got magenta and yellow pairs, but also a green solo. What color doors are we supposed to open? Are you, she, she's not allowed to go through. Lamayo got her. <laughs> Sorry, you, you dice roll badly. You can't go through. Now you're going to get penalized. And where are they? New new rule updated to the to the fucking nonary game file. Sometimes you just get fucked. Sorry. And where are they? Well, we need to check the other bracelets before we make any decisions. That means Dio, Tenmyoji, and Clover. And Quark. We'll need to check Alice's bracelet too. Anyone could just pick it up now. Yeah, and yet we didn't. I will try and find the remaining people and their bracelets. Quark will be my first priority. I'll come with you. Very well. Very well. I'll go check on Alice's bracelet then. And don't forget to, um, retrieve it. Retrieve it? Okay, I'm curious. I can't hold off anymore. Okay. Is K Ace. Finally, all got him. We'll likely need it to get through the chromatic doors. Right. Two AI eyes in a row. Sigma, can you come with me? What? Oh, okay. Let's go. I'm going to have to see her again. I feel sick just thinking about it. Shouldn't we decide on a time to meet up? Just in case? We can't tell time. Let's see. When do the doors open? Oh, we can! We can tell time! We've still got quite a while. An hour and 21 minutes. Okay. Then let's take half of that. Why what so much time? We all meet back here in 40 minutes? Sounds good. Kay and Luna stepped through the magenta door and out of the warehouse. Hey, you don't, uh, you don't think Kay is, Kay is the killer, do you? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe go fuck yourself. Maybe. But if he is, then Luna's in danger. Maybe. Maybe. Damn it, Fi. You're not one to talk. I didn't see you stopping her. Well, yeah, but... I just had this gut feeling that I could trust him. A gut feeling, huh? Sure you're not the one who's feeling a connection to our armored friend? I mean, all that plating is pretty flattering to his figure. Um... What? That's not Are it. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm, I'm S Sigma, not Sigmar. Yeah. Have you considered that it might be Luna? Gotta be a plus two for that if you got that joke, right? That's a plus two for sure. That, come on. That, that's a plus two. That's a plus two if you understand that joke. Okay, have you considered that might be Luna? Why it's not? not Why not? Because Luna didn't need a knife to kill Alice. When we played the last round, Alice's BP was one. Luna was playing against the two of us. All she would have to ha all she would have had to do is convince us to vote ally, and she could have killed Alice easily. She would have just had to pick betray. But if exactly. she'd done that, do you really think the rest of us would have let her get away with it? We'd probably have tied her up or locked her away or something. Besides, there's no way in hell Alice would have chosen ally. The only way to get an ally vote from your pair would have been to physically overpower Alice. Or trick her like I did with Dio. So, what? You're saying Luna's the killer? No, I'm not. I'm just saying the possibility exists. 
Even if she was, I don't think we'd need to worry about Kay's safety. He's got a full suit of armor. I'm betting he's pretty hard to kill with all that on. Okay, he's the next one to die for sure. Alright, I think that's enough of that. Because whoever killed Al- Oh, whoever killed Alice! Got the key! And they're gonna kill him, and we are he's gonna be headless! They're gonna cut his head off and we still won't know- He's gonna die and we're still not gonna know who he- <laughs> All right, I think that's enough Let's of that. Clover! Hey, hey, come on, don't run away. Run away. <laughs> well, it sure looked like you were trying to get away from us. I wasn't running away, though I just don't want to talk to you. Isn't that pretty much the same thing? Look, running away isn't going to do you any good. Don't you want to find out who killed Alice? Well, you're not going to be able to figure that out unless you talk to I people. I don't need to. Why not? I already figured out who did it. Who is it then? Who was it? I can't tell you. Who was it? It was you. You got me. I can't tell you. Why not? You might be working with them. Uh, okay. Both of you could be in on it. We are. Oh come on! Of course we're Forget not. about it. There's no point. It doesn't matter what you tell her, she's never going to believe you. Okay, you have no people skills. You don't understand basic logic and ration. Uh, ration. <laughs> You're not rational. You you have no idea, okay? Like, no. You, don't don't strong arm her here. Let Sigma Male lead, okay? Just tell us one thing, Clover. <sighs> How did you know who it was? I noticed something. And what was that? Melted ice. Alice figured it out too. Before she... What was it? Why don't you figure that out yourselves? Okay, but it's really vague. Like, well, it could be anything. Anyway, I gotta go. Hey, wait, Clover. Alright, see you later, Pebbles. Oh, she locked us in! Well, there she goes. Ah, What's shit. What's wrong? I forgot to ask Clover what color her bracelet is now. Oh. Really? That's it? Calm down. She's a cyan pear. You saw it? Yeah. Snuck a peek at it when she ran by. Hmm. Did you, though? And it looks like Alice's is a blue solo. She reached down and casually picked Alice's bracelet up off the floor. I'll hold on to this. Yeah, good idea. Really? No one else took it? I'm stunned. What was it that Clover, that Clover noticed? You mean what Alice noticed? Were you even listening? Fine. What did Alice notice? Why didn't Alice tell us? I thought we had a connection. What are these shoes? My god. If I didn't answer. Instead, she knelt down and began to examine Alice's body. Okay, we're taking the knife, right? What are you doing? I'm investigating. Okay. If you don't take the knife, that is very out of character. What are you investigating? What does it look like I'm investigating? Looking for any clues to what she figured out before she died. She wrote some numbers on the wall behind her. Huh. Found something already. Have a look. If I held something out, it was a handkerchief. Stained reddish brown. Is that blood? Looks like it. My god, a nosebleed. It's darker than Alice's, so it's probably been on her since before she died. If it's not hers, whose blood is it? Okay, old lady or Quark? Maybe. Do you think Alice killed her? Who knows? She could have just found this somewhere for all we know. What she figured out was that she's the killer, and then she told Clover, and then Clover killed her. Hmm. And you think she figured it something out from this handkerchief? Can't say for sure, but it's definitely a possibility. So... Time we moved on. We need to figure out what Tenmyoji and Dia's bracelets have changed to. Take the knife. And we need to find Quark. Yeah. 
Yeah, that ship has sailed. Let's take the blue door then. We should be able to get from get to the room Temioji, Quark, and Clover went to that Sounds way. Good. Do you plan to play more Weave games? At least one. Is this necessary? Is this is this building to a point for some reason? Like it's supposed to remind you that you're being watched the whole time, you know? It says rec room. This is the only door that's unlocked. Yeah. So this is where Ten Miyoji's team went. I'm going to open it, all right? How many times do I have to tell you? You don't need to keep asking permission. Plus two? Okay, okay. Rec room. Oh, this room looks cool. Was that the bunny? Tamioji. I'm guessing from your face that Quark is still missing. No sign of him, huh? Happy. What? I'm asking if you're happy Quark's still missing. I am, actually. He's annoying. No, of course not. Why would I be? And then does it hurt? <laughs> when I fell from heaven? Are you so terrified about whether or not he's safe that it feels like someone's got your chest in a vice? Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't think so. Quark's got 9 BP. If I find him first, I might make him escape. So it's better for you if I haven't found him yet. Okay. Am I wrong? Timioji, what's going on here? This doesn't sound like you. Uh, we've known him for like five hours. I know you're worried about Quark, but. Just what the hell do you know? He's all I've got left. If something happens to him, I'll. I'll... Timioji. It's all my fault. It wasn't supposed to be like this. I, I never should have brought him here. Did you say brought? Yes. Zero made me an offer. What? Wait a minute. I thought you said you and Quark were abducted like the rest of us. Yeah, I lied. He he wants a a, a big a majority share in my. Uh, AI production company. You mean you came here voluntarily? I'm the CEO. Hey, answer me. What the hell is going on here? Can I see the other side of your bracelets? Oh, God. Why? Please, just do it. <laughs> if there's fucking, like, on the other side, <laughs> made by 10 Miyoji Industries or something like this right now, like... <laughs> All right, what's gonna happen right now? <laughs> PFI and I looked at one another. Neither of us knew what was going on. There was no reason to refuse. You shrugged, and this is what we've been told. Okay, then suddenly, ah, yeah. In the blink of an eye, Timmy Oji had pulled some kind of can from his pocket and sprayed both our wrists with it. Hey, what the hell, man? Calm down. You can take them off now. It's not going to hurt you. Is this some kind of chemical? Yeah. Yeah, my company makes it. I found it when I was searching this room. Okay. He walked toward the door and flipped the, flipped the light switch. Good um, work. It's dark now. What's that patch there? Show me your bracelets again. <laughs> that stuff you sprayed us with was luminol, wasn't it? Yeah. How'd you figure that out? I guessed when you turned off the light. <laughs> Isn't that the stuff they used on cop shows to find blood and uh, other stuff? What if we had accidentally touched the blood when we were in the room with Alice? Yeah. Why did you spray us? Just relax, okay? That's all I needed to know. 
What? Neither one of you is zero senior. Are you saying that because there wasn't any reaction from the Luminol? Yep. Uh, someone might explain this to me? Well, you know as much as I do now. I was just making guesses based on what he was doing. Hey, Temioji, what the fuck? Sorry, but I've got to go. What? <laughs> what? I need to go look for Quark. What? Shows up, says that he took a deal to get into the game, sprays us with luminol, turn the lights off, says, oh, you're not the killer, I guess. Refuses to elaborate, leaves. What? No, he's actually going to go. He's going to be like, I don't give a shit. Fuck you. Here we go. No, I'm sorry, but I can't let that happen. You dropped the real bomb back there, and I'm not about to just ignore it. What did you mean when you said that Zero made you... You know what, man? I... I... No. Sorry, no. You dropped a real bomb back there, and I can't just ignore it. You know what? I'm just gonna say it. I'm sick of your shit. I don't care that you broke your elbow. Why are you here? I can't tell you. Why not? I don't really understand. I don't really understand how, but you seem to have decided that neither of us is Zero Senior, yeah. right? Yeah. Then why? You don't get it. I can't tell you no matter who you are. Right now, we might as well assume Quark is a hostage. Zero Junior seems to be aware of everything that goes on here. If I tell you, he'll know. And then God only knows what Zero Senior will do. Please, I'm asking you, put yourself in my shoes. Okay, take them off then. These are some comfortable shoes. I looked them in the eyes for the first time since we'd entered the room and saw nothing but years of loneliness and regret. Before I could speak, he turned and left the room. <laughs> what? Hey, can I ask you a question? No. Won't do you any good? Yeah. Whatever you want to know, I don't know anything about it. No, it's not about what just happened. Yeah. Then what is it? Oh, I see. You mean his bracelet, right? Chill, man. He's a red solo. I had a look while he was talking. Oh, good job. That uh wasn't what I wanted to ask either. <laughs> well, what is it then? <laughs> when he sprayed us, you uh you screamed, didn't you? Did she? No. No. Yeah, no, you did. No, I didn't. No, I'm pretty sure you- No? I'm pretty sure you did. Not quite so tough when you're scared, huh? Shut up! We've got stuff to do. Get going! Move! What am I doing, Santa? I'm just waiting. Waiting? For the balance to shift. Still haven't found the doors, by the way. This. It looks like another warehouse. I guess there's one on this floor too, then. Makes sense. I guessed as much when I saw the map. Okay. Is it though, or is it just they just changed the rooms? Okay, this means nothing to me. Memento Mori, if the ninth lion ate the sun. Hmm, okay. Uh, I can't do anagrams, man. Like, this is... Just, this could be anything. Probably more graffiti. There was one on floor A, too, remember? Yeah, there was, but... Never mind that. There's someone else here. Looks like it. Is that Dio? Looks like it. Let's see what he's up to. Quark could have been here, right? Maybe he got confused and he was just standing around waiting for us to get here, thinking this is where the game was going to be. What are you doing here, Dio? Oh, nothing. And just going with the flow, you know? I'm seeing where life takes me. The flow? You don't seem to have any interest in searching for Quark. Wait, flow? Why would I? Do we even know he's really missing? Maybe the little shit's just off having nap time somewhere. So I figure, <laughs> sleeping dogs lie, right? <laughs> kids in this case i guess if we wake him up he might realize he's got enough bp to blow this popsicle stand and ditch us that happens it's all over we'll be stuck in here for the rest of our lives which probably won't be that long the rest of our lives yeah did i stutter or did you just forget 
Zero Junior told us, remember? The number nine door only opens once. Oh, yeah. All right. The money did say it. All right. I proceed to eat shit, chat. Once that happens, it's all over. It closed for nine seconds. So if you're not careful, you could get stuck. I think maybe I was focused on this part where I said, why don't they just all run through? And I hyper fixated on that. Okay. I proceed to eat shit, chat. Close for good, huh? I had to admit, I kind of forgotten that detail. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But if Zero Junior had been telling the truth, we wouldn't be able to get out until we died. Hell, even that might not be... Maybe, maybe it didn't show it, and this is like, you know, poetry. We don't remember because... It didn't happen. Hell, even that might not be enough. Maybe they'd just leave our corpses there to rot. My stomach did a little flip. And then, you know, reverted back to its normal position. So? You think that's a real stomach? What are you guys here for? Did you bring Fi here so I can kill her? What? Huh, oh, really? You already forgotten your little stunt earlier? We're damn lucky Kate chose ally. If he hadn't... Be hanging from that crane right now. Whoa. Huh. Sounds like you're getting a little desperate. Word of advice, Dio. That's not a smart attitude to have here. All you'll do is make sure that whoever plays against you in the AB game won't pick Ally. Yeah, but that's not a thing anymore because it's just unlimited chances. So, like, you're you're talking nappies. Like, like, just not just no no meaning behind these words at all like it doesn't matter at all anymore you talk as if i give a fuck i already yep. know i won't be up against you too <laughs> why not k and i are the yellow pair you guys are the magenta pair right oh, nappy. oh did i say nappy sorry that's what instead of saying you're you're talking shit to the kids it's like you're talking you're talking nappies and when they're telling lies, it's like um, you're, tell you're telling uh, big smelly nappies. Like, nappies is, is diaper. I'm not sure if that that's how universal they call them nappies. Like, you're talking nappies. Two pairs can't go through the same chromatic door. Simple enough for you. How do you know our colors? Kay told me. He was here a while ago. Speaking of which, Temioji and Clover were here too. Guess everybody misses my company. Anyway, that's how I know what everyone's colors are. <laughs> Was Kay by himself? Yeah. What about Luna? Luna? I haven't seen her. Ooh. Uh-oh. Anyway, Kay and I won't be pairing with you two. We'll be taking the blue solo. <laughs> that's that's Alice's bracelet. But how did you know that? Oh, come on. You really that thick? Look at the doors in front of you. These are the next chromatic doors. So the next color is white. Bingo. See that thing next to the door there? Looks familiar, doesn't it? Yes. Yes, it does. I get it. You and Kay are both yellow. You can get yellow by adding red and green together. If you add blue to that... It becomes white. Exactly. You get magenta by adding red and blue together and then adding green that gives you white. So that means Fine and I would need to pair up with the green solo, which is Luna. Yeah! Waifu, yeah! Yeah! Oh man, this is this is the best path. God damn. Right. Yeah. That means the other three would be in the same team as before. Temioji, Clover, and Quark. We know that Temioji is a red solo and Clover is a cyan pair, so... The only one left is the other cyan pair. So we can assume that's what Quark is. Could there be... Could there be any other combinations? No. There's no. only one option this time. All we gotta do now is wait for these white doors to open. We've only got five minutes left before it's time to meet up with everyone else. We should get back to floor A. Sorry, but I'm gonna stay here. Moving around so much is a pain in the ass. Nobody invited you. <laughs> you know what, Dio? Nobody invited you. Come on, Fi. Right. On my way. You're not a part of this grind set. 
Really? Are we gonna go through the whole thing? My god. Wikipedia time. Huh? Is it voice active? Something up? Why'd you just stop? Well. Yeah. See that clock over there? The one that looks like the sun? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It reminded me of something we saw earlier. <laughs> Sigma, did you know? What do you mean? Remember the graffiti on floor B? You remember what it said? Uh... Memento Mori, right? Do you know what that means? No, I don't. It's Latin for something like, be aware of death or remember death. I think it's usually used to mean, we're all going to die someday, so don't forget about your own mortality. What about the other part? Well, I mean, that's pretty straightforward, right? If the ninth lion ate the sun, I mean, yeah, it's kind of nonsense, but... Oh, I get it. That's what the clock made you think of, right? The sun in that sentence. Yeah. Did you notice anything strange about that graffiti? Okay, well, it's not straightforward to me. I don't know what the fuck that means. <laughs> Apart from the fact that it made no sense. Not really. Oh, okay, so we're just all over the place right now. All right, cool. <laughs> Wrong answer. Maybe you're not the eagle eye I thought you were. Okay, I'm not. Neither are you. You're an idiot. I guess I have to do everything. Uh-huh. Haven't solved a single room yet. Part of it was spelled wrong. You thought that you you did a, a, an amazing bamboozle because you ate some food to make Kay think that you were buddies. Like, oh, oh wow, she's eating food. Wow, I've never seen this before. I, I feel a kinship forming with between me and Fi. Okay. Specifically, they spelled ninth wrong. Oh, and they also spelled um, Leon as lion. It should be N-I-N-T-H. But the graffiti had N I N E T H. I mean, sometimes people spell it that way. Like, you know, I go back and forth myself, I think. Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. They just put an extra E there in there. Exactly. That's kind of a bonehead mistake. Yeah, yeah, sometimes I do it. Do you think it was like a kid who wrote, wrote it? What what is the shade you're throwing on me, Sigma? Like what the hell, man? Co I thought I thought we were the Sigma grind set, you know, together. No, oh, Sig Sigmas are solos. Maybe it wasn't a mistake at all. I'm not following. Maybe Zero put that E in there on purpose. Okay. Maybe because he didn't have enough letters otherwise. Uh, what? Why not the then? Anyway, if Zero wrote that graffiti, then it's got to be significant. Remember death. If the ninth lion ate the sun. Huh. Shit. Hey, it's already two minutes past time. Yeah, why didn't we just talk while we were walking? Like an episode of Dr. House. We should get moving. Right. <sighs> what was the point of that conversation? Well, I feel like it's it's trying to say, hey, look, it's an anagram again, and they added the extra letter because otherwise the anagram wouldn't work without it. But it's fucking obvious it's an anagram, right? Like, maybe it isn't an anagram, but, like, this one you would think, okay, that's an anagram, so the other one must be an anagram too. But I'm just, like, normally I would, I would look at that and go, okay, can I figure it out? But I just don't. I don't understand how to do anagrams, so I'm not even trying. Like, I, I could sit here for the rest of the night and probably not get it. Huh? K and Luna aren't, aren't, aren't here. Um, no, the K's still there. It's right there. Astute observation. 
What should we do? What do you mean, what should we do? All we can do is wait. We don't want to end up missing each other by accident. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you got a point. Hey, where are you going? Just want to check something really quick. Check what? The last time we saw Alice alive, she was right here. Uh, she's right there. There, I can see her. It's Alice. She's... <laughs> Wait, is that actually someone? <laughs> just go over it. It's just fucking K. Just standing there like, oh, I didn't think anyone would see me. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> Alright, no one came over here and checked this before, right? Really? Remember? She was kneeling down, looking at something on the ground. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, you think she's looking at? Huh? Find something? Blood. Isn't this blood? Uh -huh. Nice work there, Sigma. Really? No one came over here? I don't need you to pat me on the back. It makes me feel stupid or the something. Truth hurts. Hmm. So, blood, huh? Oh my god. Fi suddenly looked up at the ceiling. I followed her gaze and found myself looking up at the metal crane. It was the kind you might see in the shipyard, the sort that moves along the metal tack as a claw to grab and lift the cargo containers. And up there, Quark was dead. And that's what she noticed? No one else looked up? No, Al Alice figured it out. Alice figured out that there was a, a, a corpse hanging from the ceiling and no one else saw it. And that's what she and she was killed for it. I also saw it. You have to go back and please no. Actually, you know what? Please yes. So, what's the deal with... <laughs> What's the deal with the crane? <laughs> what? Tam, gone again. Stop running around. Who is this? Please be someone hiding back there. <sighs> Just tell me what you found. I noticed something. Okay, what is it? Oh, yeah? And what, pray tell, was the that? same thing Clover and Alice noticed. Alright, what is it? That's arg. Can't you just tell me? No, you have to notice it yourself. It's part of the rules. Look at the number six AB room. Okay, I'm looking. The side that's facing the wall has blood on it. Oh, did it move? Can they move them with the crane? So it wasn't actually the first one that had the body in it. It was... Who was in the... Did they shift them around? Or did they, like, change, like... Why would they do that? Who figured that out? Okay, it could be anyone then. So it's not Clover and it's not... It's it's a, It has to be a solo. Who are the solos? Luna, Tenmyoji... And Dio? No, Dio, Dio, Dio and fucking what's-his-face were... Dio and Quark were linked at the beginning. So, Alice, Alice, Temyoji, and um, uh, and the other one I can't remember, and Luna. So it's one of those three. So, it can't be Luna. So Temyoji. Side that's facing the wall has blood on it. Gotta be. What's the first thing you think of when you hear blood? Um, red? Vampire? <laughs> no? Yeah. This whole thing kind of sucks, right? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Sigma's a morbid. <laughs> this is no time to be screwing around. It's more because it's morbid time. All right. I'm talking about this thing. Oh, yeah. no, not even a little. What do you mean? That was a general fucking question. That wasn't like, oh, what's the first the thing? Alice had. You're so weird, Fi. Why can't you just be normal? There's some blood on it that we assume belonged to the old lady. It does. Consider this for a moment. It does belong. Let's say this thing was on the floor next to the rightmost AB room. Okay. Oh, someone squished underneath it? We'll assume that the blood on the side facing the wall came from this handkerchief. Okay, then what? Alice was looking at the handkerchief. Right. What do you think was going through her mind? Why is there a blood-stained handkerchief here? <laughs> <laughs> I love this line. 
And? <laughs> did this belong to the old woman? It must have. And? And? But if it did, then who put it here? And? Or wait, maybe someone just dropped it. Or maybe they could have thrown it here. And? And? You want more? You're almost there. Hmm, I don't even think that you have the right conclusion. How long has this handkerchief been here? Something like that. Yes, exactly. So how long do you think it was here? Well, I imagine it wasn't here from the start. When, when's the start? You know, when we started. When you and I escaped from the AB room through the hatch on the roof. The first thing we did after we got out and met everyone except for Clover and Kay was go look at the number 9 door. Hmm, yeah, you're right. Oh, that's where you think it starts. Okay, interesting. We spent a lot of time examining the AB rooms, too. Yeah, I know we looked at this for this, for this exact angle, but we didn't again until now, even though we've been here again. I'm pretty sure there wasn't any handkerchief there then. There wasn't. Wait. Huh, finally huh. figured it out, huh? Okay, so how did the handkerchief get... What? Okay, I knew one of them had moved, or at least I guessed that. How did there? How did a handkerchief get? No way. The AB room moved. Yeah. Probably. Was it the crane? They moved the rightmost one all the way to the left. Okay. So. What was in the leftmost AB room? The body of the old woman. And who was trapped in there when the nonary game started? Well, it would have been the AB room on the right at first, so... <gasps> no! No! For the third time, Fi walked off without saying anything. My body felt like lead, but I forced myself to follow her. She stopped in front of the graffiti that began two milkmen. <laughs> what do you think this is? <laughs> well, I thought it was just paint from the graffiti at first, but I'm guessing you don't think so. Is that more of the old woman's blood? Seems like it. Welcome to my kingdom, and it was the, and she said middle kingdom with the Chinese room, and it was Luna. In, in having her Haru the early years thing in the story, it's all coming together. I don't know what it means, but it's just it's just all coming together. Like it's like there's there's connections fire I'm all over the place. The field is fucking on fire right now. But it what's the conclusion, Fi? So Luna would have killed her here, then taken her to the rightmost AB room. After that, she would have moved the room with the body in it so that no one would have suspected her. What? Later on she moved how did she find out how to move it and also she picked up the blood and wrote it somehow washed her hands What that would mean the first person to get out was Luna not Alice Who the fuck was this person then? So what had that hanker what about that handkerchief this thing that's how she washed her hands of all this blood Somehow she just only got it on her fingertips Here, look you see this line? It's possible that line is from whatever the weapon was. Which means this might have been wrapped around whatever was used to kill the old woman. Okay, it kind of looks like a knife. So maybe Luna wrapped the weapon with his handkerchief. And then, threw it between the rightmost room and the one next to it. Then when the room was moved, it came out. <laughs> Wait, what? She th she threw it here, so when it moved up, it fell down? Well, she's dumb. That's really dumb. That means Alice picked up the weapon along with the Seems handkerchief. Seems pretty likely. And then she stabbed herself. This is all just speculation, understand? Yep. There are a whole lot of things we still don't know. Yep. Yeah, it's a mystery, all right. For example... Why would Luna leave the AB room, murder the old woman, and then carry the body back and hide it in the same room? I guess it's possible she just wanted to hide the body. 
but we still don't have any idea why she would have wanted to kill her in the first place. It's also worth noting that Zero Jr. seems to have let all this slide. He's supposed to be making sure the game goes according to plan, but... So far, there have been two murders, and he hasn't done anything about either of them. Do you think that means Luna is Zero Sr.? Even if she was, though, I'm not sure why she killed the old woman. It's possible that she was some kind of intruder who wasn't supposed to be here, but... If Luna Zero Sr., couldn't she have found a better place to hide the body? Maybe Luna broke in, killed the lady, and took her place. And Luna's not even supposed to be in the game. Could you put the bracelet on after you kill someone? Is her bracelet even on properly? Is it just hanging loose? Is, is, she, is she fucking Agent 47? If we look at her in the right light, are we going to be like, Oh my god, what the hell? Like... <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> she didn't have access to the entire facility. That's not all either. Let's say Luna moved the AB room to divert suspicion away from herself. If that's the case, why did she leave the handkerchief and the weapon there? She had to have known they'd be discovered after she moved the room. Yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty, pretty true. Besides, when and how did she operate that crane? Luna was with us since we first first got out of the AB rooms all the way till when we found the old lady's body. You, me, and her went through the magenta door and investigated the lounge. Then we went down to the floor B together and came back to the warehouse. By then, the room must have been moved. Of course. Ha! Huh. Why didn't I see that sooner? Luna has an alibi! She couldn't have moved the AB room. We're her alibi. Interesting. I have to admit, you've got a point. So someone else moved it for her. Maybe someone found the controls and just like, fuck it, I'm just gonna move rooms, who cares? Wait, what? Wait, what? You didn't even put up a fight. You're going to make me repeat myself. I never said Luna was the killer. What? What? Still, I have a feeling Alice thought she was, which would mean that Clover probably does too. Who's the killer then? Oh, you mean that stuff she said what she noticed? Right. right. No one killed her. She was just dead. Hey, Fi. Mm -hmm. I'm starting to get a really bad feeling about this. We were supposed to meet the others 20 minutes ago, but there's no one here. You're right. Getting some big bad ending vibes right now. Clover's gonna appear with a stick right now and kill us all. Hajime. I'm off my mints. Sigma. Oh, oh. Are you gonna drop down dead now and Clover's gonna be behind you with this, this stick? Sigma. Fine. There you are. Oh. I'm sorry. I have some bad news. Oh, oh. Luna. Luna is dead. She's in room two in the crew quarters. The same room where Alice was murdered. Is it the same knife? It, it looks like it's just hopped out of Alice into her. Oh, please. Seven solo. Waifu, no! This was the third time I touched a body and felt cold skin. I thought it might... Third? Oh, right, the old woman. I thought it might be, get easier, but it, it had only, only gotten worse. I didn't think I'd ever get used to it, but I didn't want to. My hands began to shake, and I tried to steady them as I pressed a pair of fingers to her neck and checked for a pulse. And there was a pulse, and then Kay said, Lamayo got him. What the fuck is this? Nothing, of co nothing, of course. Luna was dead. Her eyes were flat and empty. The pupils dilated in what could have been terror. Now they're closed, bro. It felt surreal. Like I might blink, and then she would sit up again. She would rise. Rise, Rise, She would smile and blush and look away nervously, and everything would be alright. I blinked. She lay there, still dead and pale. And I... I trust him. Grief cracked open like an egg. <laughs> Haru the early years, what the fuck? And rage clamored out, hot and angry and screaming. 
and clawed at the inside of my chest and pounded at the back of my eyes. I squeezed them shut and ground my teeth. My hands balled into fists so tight they hurt. It took a deep breath and opened my eyes again. Another breath. I stood up and realized Kay was talking. I believe she was poisoned. See here. This device is some sort of syringe. I think it's called an injection gun. You can just put whatever you want in one of those vials and then pull the trigger. It's kind of like the needles in these bracelets. The drug they used is the same as well. The label on the vial says tubocurarine. The muscle relaxant. Yes. Since it's empty, I can only assume Luna was injected with it. You see the mark on her neck? No, I, I know. Where is it? I believe it is safe to assume that is where her attacker injected the drug. Oh my god, would it really be that red around like that? What the fuck is that? Perhaps they chose the neck for the carotid artery. Vampire. Oh, someone's a vampire! Then your guess is probably correct. Who's a vampire? Luna was injected with tubocurarine, and it killed her. It's the old lady! Wait, Alice is also a mummy! She can come back to life, she's undead! Should I go what about the others? You're getting some big Morby vibes from you right now. That's why you wear this, so this, you're out of sunlight. I want to get your story what first. Do you mean? When you left us, you and Luna went off together, yes. right? Yes. But when we talked to Dio downstairs, he said he'd only seen you, not Luna. Why is that? Luna and I split up as soon as we got to floor B. We determined it would be more efficient. Two of us working separately could cover more ground in less time. All right, so why were you late? What? You didn't show up till 20 minutes past the time we were supposed to meet. Sigma's asking you what you were doing. I was... Pooping. Resuscitating. What? Uh, resuscitating? Let me explain how I found her. I had gone to the warehouse five minutes before our meeting time. You had yet to show up, as had Luna. I believe I was standing between the yellow and cyan doors. Some minutes later, I heard something. Getting some big Danganronpa vibes right now. It came from behind the cyan door and sounded like a woman's scream. Well, it was actually quite faint. It was several doors away, after all. And as such, I couldn't quite make out what was being said. Or even if I had heard it at all. It seemed entirely possible that I had imagined it. I heard no other sounds for a few minutes following the scream. Eventually, the silence made me uncomfortable. Perhaps something had happened. So, I made my way to the crew quarters. Making my way down, so... As I entered the hallway, I noticed that the door to room two was slightly ajar. Whoa, how did you how did you move here without going through the map screen? Is it possible to, to, to learn this power? Oh, shit, sorry. That was when I first suspected something was amiss. You can imagine the rest, I'm sure. I ran into the room and found Luna on the floor. So you're saying you spent a good 20 minutes trying to resuscitate yes. her? Yes. I deduced that she had been injected with tubocurarine. Yeah. Re re the, the only thing that's true about that, that you resuscitated her, is the sus. That's the only part that rings true about that, Kay. Her heart had stopped. You're on my so shit list. I CPR, to the best of my abilities, at least. With this mask, I was obviously unable to provide artificial respiration. Your shit's whack. Why didn't you tell because us? Because I had no reason to believe you would be in the warehouse. Wait, so you just you just pump in her heart for 20 Okay, whatever, dude. If you weren't, I would have wasted precious time. I chose instead to begin resuscitation immediately. Okay, you but we heard you heard her scream from there. Why weren't you shouting for help the whole time too? Like we 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 could have heard you. As you know, even a short time without oxygen can cause serious brain damage. Mm -hmm. I felt time was of the essence. How long can a vampire go without blood? But... Hey. That's actually a valid method of CPR if you don't want to give mouth to mouth. For 20 minutes though? I mean, admittedly, I don't know enough about CPR to, 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 to argue. That just rings hollow to me. I can't see someone just going at it for 20 minutes like that. Without having any mouth to mouth like like fucking 20 minutes of, ch of chest compressions like what hey how much time passed between when you heard the scream and when you came in here and found her i'm afraid i can't say exactly 
but I would hazard a guess that it was around three minutes. Did you see the killer? No, I did not. Then they have three minutes to escape. That would have been plenty of time. When you leave this room, immediately to your left is a door that connects to the hallway. CPR is not a five second thing, my dude. Where where are you getting the extreme from 20 minutes and subtracting it down to me thinking I'm saying it would be over in five seconds? And I'm not saying normal CPR, I'm saying just 20 minutes of just chest compressions and not trying to do fucking anything else. Like, that doesn't seem right to me at all, especially in the situation that they're in, but... I don't know, if you, if you have help along the way, and that's all you can do, then sure, it's better than nothing, but just like, oh, I found her, time to just do this for 20 minutes with no one knowing this is going on, I hope someone comes in, and he's not shouting for help or anything like that. Like, I, I feel like in the situation that they're in, after, like, maybe even just a few minutes, he would be like, okay, I need to go get help here, because obviously I'm not equipped to do this. And, like, he's a big, strong robot dude. He can actually pick her up and move her, too. Like, hey, like, someone help me, please. Like, it doesn't seem right. I assume they left that way. Is there any chance they hid in this room somewhere? No. I examined the room thoroughly before I left to find you. Um, may I say something? Yes. Yeah, sure. I'm not sure if this has anything to do with Luna. But there was something I wanted to point out. Look at Alice. Do you notice anything? She's missing a handkerchief. The weapon. It's gone. Indeed. Fi took it. The wound suggests a knife, but I doubt we'll know now. Then did the killer take it? Okay, that's two characters now that have said maybe it's not a knife. So maybe it isn't a knife. Hmm, okay. How would I know? Maybe they took it before Luna was murdered. Why are you asking me? If they had it, why not use it to kill Luna? Hmm. Looking up CPR for 20 minutes, you need a guideline before you were recommended to go out. With, with just chest compressions without giving mouth to mouth? Just, just do chest compressions for 20 minutes. Mouth to mouth is not recommended. Really? Oh, wow. That's different. Joe, I took a 20 minute CPR course. I think I went. No, that's true. I can't really argue with that. That's true. That's true. Yeah, that would make sense. What? Sigma, if you were going to kill someone, which of these two methods would you use? I wouldn't kill anyone. This is hypothetical. I would choose the injection gun. Right? Most people would choose that. The more you can divorce yourself from the actual killing, the easier it is to kill someone. There's a big difference between stabbing someone and injecting them with poison. I'm not an expert, but I can agree that mouth to mouth is a last ditch. As far as I understand it, CPR in general is a last ditch, uh, last ditch thing. CPR is not really that reliable, and usually resuscitating someone is it comes with a lot of issues. It's nothing like it is in the movies or or in media in general. Um, this just doesn't make sense to me because he he just doesn't doesn't try to get more help or anything like that. I don't know. So you're saying they took the knife before they killed her? No. I don't know either way. They could have taken it afterwards. There's no way for us to know. Could they have done that in three minutes before Kay got here? It's not impossible. Three minutes is longer than you think. Anyway. What I was trying to say is that I don't know when they took the knife or whatever it was. We came here to get Alice's bracelet, and then Kay came by later. 
There was probably about a 30 minute window. Anyone could have taken it. They might not even have been the same person who killed Luna. Or it could be. There really isn't any way to know. And if we don't know, we really shouldn't try and draw conclusions. That could color our reasoning and that's not good. Conclusions without any evidence are useless. Wait. So just forget any conclusions you might have come up with. Save that brain space for something more useful. Well, I think that about covers it. We clear? Good. Yeah, good. Anyway, we should tell the others. About Luna, you mean? Yeah. We should go to the white doors then. Dio should still be there. Hopefully, Tenmyoji and Clover will be there as well. Yeah, good point. Okay, this seems to be... I wanted to finish this scene before we're done because we're already over time. Alright, let me save it. Alright, so we'll come back to this tomorrow. Um, so far, the game has been successful in the same way that, that the first game is, in that there's a lot of different suspects and a lot of people have different things in, going on that make them very suspicious. So... Um, I like that, but this one, it's picked up a little bit, but it's kind of all over the place again. I don't know. Hmm, I'm doing the same kind of pose as, as Kay right now. Yeah, okay. Uh, we should be starting um, earlier tomorrow, unless something else happens, but uh, it should be a 12 p.m. Eastern start tomorrow, not a 1 p.m. Eastern start. And also, I should have uh, a fan art opening tomorrow. Sorry that I didn't have it again today. The late start as well. Like, a, a bunch of stuff came up right before. Hmm... Something, sorry, something about all this is, like, ringing really ho hollow to me when it comes to his story and what he did. Something about it. I don't know. Oh, we'll find out more tomorrow. Okay. <sighs> all right. Is it time? I think it's time. I think we're going to do it. Here we go. Let's do a countdown. Three, two, one. <laughs> 